Uh, let's welcome Dr. Wan. And I know uh, um, I know him since we started working together on the move, the move, his movie, and I'm very impressed with his uh, uh, flexibility. Did uh, and digitally in working on everything he's working on, and he's so responsive uh, to everything we are asking or ask him. So now. Uh, I'd like to introduce the president of Greater Boston Chinese Cultural Association, Shirley, to give the welcome remark. Shirley. Yeah, I'm here. Um, for those who do not know me, my name is Shirley Wong. You raised your hand so we can uh, highlight you. Oh. Um, who, let me see where. Okay, Shirley, just talk. Okay, yep. Um, so I am the current acting president of GBCCA, and I am honored to be here representing the GBCCA community, and I'm thankful to be a part of tonight's lecture. Uh, I would also like to like thank uh, Yahoo, Yahoo, Dr. Piper, for organizing this here and for all of us being here tonight. Um, that's all. Shirley, you're, I'd like to introduce uh, Ni Hai Fei. He he knows he knew Dr. Wang for a long, long time, so he will uh, introduce the Dr. Wang. You uh, have a okay. Um, everyone, my name is Max, and um, Dr. Mi Wen is a Harvard and MIT graduate, yeah. MD. Magna Cum Laude is one of the few laser eye surgeons in the world today who hold a doctorate degree in laser physics. He's co-founder of the nonprofit Common Ground Network. The film, the movie site is based on Dr. Wang's autobiography, From Darkness to Sight. As a teenager, mm -hmm. Dr. Wang fought, fought to escape China's cultural revolution, during which millions of innocent youth were deported to remote area to face a life sentence of hard labor and poverty. He came to US with only $50 and earned two doctoral degrees, one in laser physics and one in medicine. And he graduated with the highest honors from Harvard Medical School and MIT. One Foundation for Site Restoration has helped patients from over 40 states in the US and 50 countries, 55 countries, with all site restoration surgeries performed free of charge. Dr. Wang was named, was named the Kiwanis Nashvini of the Year for his lifelong dedication to help blind orphaned children from okay. around the world. Can you hear? Okay. Now, Max, uh, should I begin? Dr. Wang, uh, please start. Yes, yes. Uh, should I start? Um, Max and Yao Wu, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay. Great. Um, uh, first of all, I would like to thank Professor Max Lee for making the connection. Max, who just introduced me, is a long, uh, a friend of a long time, many years. And um, I really appreciate um, he introducing me to Boston Greater Chinese Community. And I also would like to thank um, Tang Yao Wu and Claudia for just putting time and effort in making this possible. I'm delighted to be with you all tonight. And um, let me go ahead and do the share screening here. Max, can you see the screen? Yes. 
Yes. You see the title? Yes. Okay, good. So, ladies and gentlemen, for the next hour, I would like to present to you two things. One is about the movie, to tell you some stories behind the movie. It's a rare um, Chinese-American film in the American mainstream media. Second, I would like to present, present to you some of the most exciting technologies that we can help patients improve their eyesight. For folks with age anywhere between 18 and 107. So you're all babies compared with my 107 year old. So mm -hmm. as long as you're between age 18 and 107, we may have something for you. I will talk about the treatment of myopia, hyperopia, which layman we call it nearsightedness and farsightedness, astigmatism, presbyopia, which is la hua yan, and the cataract. And also I will talk about a new technology that I have helped develop called M neotic membrane contact lens, which is to help people improve their eyesight in trauma. This we extensively use that for our foundation in the last almost 30 years to help blind orphan children from around the world. The stories of these children are featured in the film site. As you see on the screen, uh, my Chinese name is Wang Mingxu, English name is Ming Wang. I've got two doctorate degrees, one in medicine from Harvard and MIT, a joint MD program. Also, I have another doctorate degree in laser physics. I studied at University of Maryland and finished postdoc at MIT. So I've gone to school quite a bit. Actually, I've been I've gone to school for 31 years. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I'm really I'm really I'm really 82. <laughs> I just age well. Um, I'm currently the CEO of IR USA. Uh, IR is the world's largest eye group with 800 some locations. 700 some in China, 100 in Europe, um, 13 in Southeast Asia, seven in Hong Kong, and one in the United States, which is uh, in Nashville, Tennessee, as you see. You may want to take a picture of this screen so you have all my contact information, email address, website, and also WeChat. In the chat room, I already put two things in there. One is all my contact information. You can take a picture of it. Also, somebody already started asking question about the Vision Zoom, which is tomorrow, Tuesday, September 26, 6.45 p.m. CT or 7.45 p.m. Mm -hmm. Eastern time. That information is in the chat room. Here in Mandarin, but I will speak in China, English, October 27th, Friday, Universal Studio will release a film called Sight in theaters across the United States. It talks about my life as a Chinese immigrant from mainland China, and I've gone to Harvard and MIT, uh, two doctor degrees, and the message of the film is about freedom, it's about faith, and fighting racial discrimination and um, develop the technology, as I mentioned, amniotic membrane contact lens, not just me, together with other scientists. And uh, it has help, helped patients, particularly our blind orphan children from around the world. The stories of these blind orphan children are featured in the film site. So you may want to take a picture of this one as well. Pretty, pretty much highlight all the vision technologies that I just realized the date I need to update is September 26th. September 26th, not 19th. So 
This has to do with the vision zoom. We have more in depth. Today, I'm gonna to talk about mainly about science and technology. And I will answer questions about indications if someone who wants to know if they are candidates for these procedures. So that's today's focus. Tomorrow night is the my practice is uh, vision zoom. This has to do with mainly talking about some administrative issues like a cost. How do you make the arrangement? What are the restrictions, insurance and all that? And that's for tomorrow night. So on the screen, you see in the right upper corner, that's tomorrow night. Central time, 6.45 p.m. and Eastern time, 7.45 p.m. And uh, that you need to ISVP at this address. So you may want to take a picture because this summarizes all four surgeries that we'll be talking about tonight. At the bottom is my contact. You can reach me. For any medical questions, please use email because I, my entire team in Nashville, Tennessee, One Vision Institute, are all Americans. To this day, for whatever reason, they still have not learned Mandarin. They also, they have not learned WeChat. So for medical questions, once again, please use email in the lower left corner and please state your need in English. You can use the WeChat in the lower right corner. That's just for Chinese communication, particularly concerned. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Yao Wu, I have a suggestion. As the host, you can actually mute everyone except me at this time. Yao Wu, could you hear me? Actually, we, we are doing that. I don't know how this one gets so. The one. Two. Okay. Max, you can text Yao Wu, communicate between you two. I think technically, technically, there's a way to mute everyone except me so that we will not hear straight talks, which just happened by someone, Unintent unintentional, of course. So I'll leave you, Yao Wu, xie xie, and Max Li, he's a technical whiz. He can help you figure out how to mute everyone except me, okay? During this presentation, so we can all Focus on the presentation. As I just mentioned, tomorrow we have more in-depth uh, vision zoom. Today we talk about technology, medical questions. If you're a candidate, your eye conditions help you find out, are you likely to be a candidate? But tomorrow it's a more of a business. My team and I present. Eastern time, 7.45 p.m. Eastern time, which we talk about cost, insurance, the logistics of making arrangement, all that. The reason I don't present that here tonight is because I actually don't know that degree of detail in terms of insurance and the cost. So that's why my staff and me tomorrow is presenting more financial and cost issues. But tonight we're gonna to focus on technology and medical questions. Also for those of us who are in the audience tonight, who are Christians, I host a monthly international site, the movie Bible study. The next one is October 18th. You can take a picture of the screen as well. We are going through once a month the Christian messages embedded in the film site. So October 18th is the next one. And finally, this is a new. I've been getting lots of questions by friends as I bring this film around the United States. I've traveled to about 15 states and I will cover the rest of 35 states. I'm like running a presidential campaign without running for president. 
the reason I'm doing that is I want to bring the film to Chinese Americans and Americans around the country to gather data who came to see the film in terms of the number of people so we can present to Hollywood that to show the Americans and the Chinese Americans we do care about film, about freedom, faith, and common ground. In that process, I've got lots of friends asking me and they bring their choir, their youngsters, say, Dr. Wang, give some pearls about how you do things more efficiently. So I've decided to start another new monthly Zoom series, which is called Shi Ban Gong Bei, 77 pearls, how to use half the time to accomplish double. This is very relevant for young people who are in school, et cetera, and for old people too. So if you want to, you can take a screenshot picture of this as well. And uh, the first inaugural Siban Gong Bei monthly Zoom, international monthly Zoom is this coming Thursday, 7.30 Central. So tomorrow night is the Vision Zoom and Thursday night is the Shi Ban Gong Bei Zoom. You can take a picture of that. Now, before I present the technology, I want to tell you the first of the two things, which is about the film. A little bit about where I came from and what is the film it's about. Oh, before I go further, as I talk about these medical technologies, this is a disclaimer, it's important. I have no financial interest in any of the product discussed. The film side has recently won the top prize, best picture at the 50th ICBM International Christian Film Award. It was the first time Chinese American film has been nominated and the first time we won. It's a prestige. And again, October 27th, Friday, Universal Studios will release the film in theaters across the United States. This is uh, my intro that Dr. Max Lee just mentioned. Many has to do with the film, the two doctor degrees, and the membrane, and our Sci Foundation. This is my intro in Mandarin Chinese, which is mainly about my current work, my training, some of the award that I have received, notably for this audience tonight, is Association of Chinese American Physicians Lifetime Achievement Award. Um, I published 10 textbooks in ophthalmology in English and uh, 120 some papers, including one in the journal Nature. I perform over 55,000 laser procedures, including um, over 4,000 doctors. I grew up in China. I was born in 1960 in Hangzhou. And actually, I, as I could listen, many members of tonight's audience are actually, I believe, came from Taiwan. Wow, I'm going down way. So I can speak Taiwanese as well. So during Cultural Revolution in Hangzhou to Lao China, students were sent away to countryside for hard labor for life. 1974, I was 14. I finished my junior high, but I was going to be sent away to labor camp just like 20 million others, in order to avoid the devastating fate of being sent to labor camp, I learned erhu and uh, dancing to try to get into the government song and dance. I sent you this email. Yeah. This doctor. Yeah. You can hear it. Yeah. So Yao Max, please work <laughs> to mute everyone again. Try again, please. Thank you. So I tried dancing and Arhu trying to avoid being sent away to the labor camp. That didn't work. So I was going to be sent away. Around around that time, cultural revolution ended. College entrance exam resumed. First time in 10 years. Mom and dad helped me 
So 1977, I got into Zhongguo Kezhi Dashi, the first uh, college entrance exam in China in 10 years. I studied laser physics, chemical physics. In 1982, I came to America at the Maryland and finished at MIT, doctoral and postdoctoral in laser physics. Then I realized that medicine today is a combination of medicine and high tech. So I want to be a unique laser eye surgeon who not only knows medicine as all doctors do as after going to medical school, but also know laser. Most of the doctors do not have the opportunity to study the technology in depth because they've they have gone to medical school. So I decided to go to medical school in America getting my second doctor degree in medicine, but I was discriminated against. Um, a professor told me that it's very hard to get in med medical school, even for American students who were born in this country. He said, you're from China, don't waste your time. This, was, this story was told in the film set. Fortunately, I, didn't, I did not give up, I worked harder. So, 1987, I was enrolled at MIT and Harvard Joint Medical MD program. I graduated in 1991, MD Magnum Cum Laude, and mom and dad came from China, my brother. And uh, I was very grateful to mom, dad, without them, I would not have today. So this film site has been dedicated to my parents. The reason I want to get my two doctorate degrees, one in laser, one in medicine, is because I want to be a unique laser eye surgeon who knows not just medicine, as all doctors do, but also laser technology, where most of doctors do not have the opportunity to study the technology, but they're using it in order to have the best result. You have to know the technology and the medicine. That's why I've gone to school for 31 years, got two doctorate degrees, so I performed over 55,000 laser vision procedures now, including on over 4,000 doctors. Uh, this is a Harvard graduate diploma, magnum cum laude, and graduation. We have a competition of graduation thesis. And I was lucky to win the first. And Harvard MIT joint program. I became a Christian um, while in medical school because I realized that it's not possible. The atheists believe that there's such a complicated structure, such as the eye can be formed out of randomness. Also, became a Christian also helped me understand that science gives you the tools and the faith gives you the purpose. People sometimes ask me, say, Dr. many scientists are not Christians. You are one. What difference does it make for you? To me, the biggest difference that being a Christian has made for me is I've learned how to love. Because Jesus loves me unconditionally, not because I did anything worth it. So I want to love him back and also love other people who are not, even not those not related to me. The unconditional love. Learn how to love is the biggest thing I've learned. So along that line, in terms of purpose, I realized that after being a Christian, there are five purposes that I would like to share a little bit that I experience in life. One is to share our knowledge. If we have something, we need to share. Second, as a Chinese immigrant, it's important living here in the West for us to both remember our cultural roots the Eastern route, but also being able to embrace the present and future here in the West. The third purpose for me after becoming a Christian is I need to help progress human knowledge because progressing our knowledge will help improve the quality of our lives. I firmly believe that's what God wants us to do because he loves us. So he wants us to improve the quality of lives. Number four, we're living in a polarized world today. 
where this polarization between Democrat and Republican, polarization between black and white, polarization between China and the US. Humankind will not have any future if we continue to be polarized like this, continue to focus on what we don't have. So I've embarked on the journey to study how to help all of us look at mind. Fixate not so much what we don't have or our differences, but focus on what we do have, our common ground. Finally, I've learned I want to help those who need the most help, even those who are not related to me, such as blind orphan children patients. Because Christ inspired the unconditional love. He loves me unconditionally. I want to love him back. So sometimes people say, oh, many have done this work for this blind orphan children. That's wonderful. My answer is that my inspiration of their work came from Christ. He works his magic through me. So the first is share the knowledge. Remember I said, I'm lucky enough to have two doctor degrees in medicine and the laser physics were almost all MD doctors, surgeons, they don't have the opportunity to study laser in depth. They don't have an opportunity to get another doctor degree in laser physics, but they're using the laser. So that determine the quality of your eyes. So I want to share. So I have published 10 textbooks on the technology side of eye surgery. For example, the left upper corner, refractive lens exchange, that's the world's first textbook on the laser technology to help Lao Hua Ye or presbyopia. But not only that, I share my knowledge of laser with US laser eye surgeons who all of them have men MDs but don't have laser physics PhDs. But also I want to share with Chinese, Taiwanese, mainland Chinese and Hong Kongese. By the way, I traveled to Taiwan many times because so I end up really making great connection with Taiwanese laser eye surgeon. Actually, I taught many of them. So I published my textbooks also in Mandarin Chinese to help China, mainland, Hong Kong, Taiwan, eye doctors to improve their laser skill as well. Second, in addition to sharing, what I've learned is we need to balance the East and the West. Balance East and West. Many of us came from East. Can we take the best of the East and best of the West today, combine them? An example is, remember I said I had to play the Chinese violin during the Cultural Revolution to escape labor camp. Now I play it to enjoy myself, but I just didn't play to enjoy myself alone. I play it particularly to Americans to showcase to them some of the best from the East. Remember also during Cultural Revolution, I learned dancing as well, trying to escape labor camp. Now that become a hobby as well. I've learned how using dancing to help the foundation. So, so far I've covered two purposes I've learned um, in life. One is to share, one is to balance East and West. Number three is to progress human knowledge. You know, human eye is so complicated. With eye, the brain, the connections, and neuronal connection, and also genes, three billion base pair. So I've been studying for a long time, how do I uh, restore eyesight in patients after injury and trauma, particularly our blind orphan children patients from our foundation. So I have to find a way to stop eye scarring on the cornea. Do you know who does not scar? Fetus. A fetus does not scar, but after we are born, each of us acquire the ability to have to, to produce fibrosis or scarring. So I really wanted to know how an unborn child can heal without scar, but 
how could you do that research without hurting a baby? They say science and faith have no common ground. If we're up to the scientists, they will do the research. Doesn't matter anything else, but if we're up to the Christians, they don't want to do the research. Stem cell, fetal tissues. Is that really true? Science and faith have no common ground. So that brings up to the fourth purpose that I've discovered for myself in life is I want to help myself, help all of us, reverse the trend of human polarization. Because the deadly spiral of polarization today in today's world, whether it's um, Repub between Republicans and Democrats, between black and white, between China and US, these de deadly spiral polarization are only hurting humankind result in unprecedented ability to work together across political aisles, racial divides, and ethnic divisions. Result in the fact that we cannot solve the problem that we need to solve in this country, such as opioid crisis, gun violence, environmental disaster, healthcare, jobs, education, so we need to recognize, we need to find a way to find common ground based on our shared humanity. So that is number four purpose for me. So specifically for science and faith polarization, I've been thinking, is that really possible to find the common ground? As a scientist, I don't just think about it. I do something about it. So I've built a foundation to study the methodology, how to find the common ground to help, help human beings find the common ground. And this is what we find. There's a way to find the common ground based on this common ground seeking steps, STEPs. I want to show you one particular aspect, the T, trade places. When I start, decide, decide to be an eye doctor many years ago, I realized a simple truth because I saw many Senior doctors, they have good technology, but the result, the patients are not as happy. You all have the experience that you make an appointment with a doctor, wait for several months. Once you take off half a day from work, you go and you wait, wait, wait in the waiting room. Finally, it's your turn. You sit there, wait, wait in the room again. Then the doctor comes in like a whirlwind, throw down a bunch of medical jargons and just leave. And the nurse, Nancy, please follow up. You said that, doctor, did you hear me? Doctor, do you really know what I'm not seeing, what I'm seeing? Doctor, do you really care? So I want to be different kinds of doctor. I want to trade places with my patients. I realized that if I want to help you solve your eye problem, I have to look through your eyes because on this planet of 8 billion people, your number one authority in describing what you see, what you don't see, because you're the only one who are seeing through that pair of eyes of yours. So if I, if I don't listen to you describing what you're seeing, what you're not seeing, if I don't try to see the world through your eyes, I cannot fix your eye problem. So the most important thing for me as a doctor is to trade places with my patients and speak the language, not the doctor, to speak the language of the listener. Do you know who inspired us to formulate this common ground seeking steps? It's none other than Jesus Christ. His life is perfect embodiment of the common ground seeking. For example, P. Persevere, pay the price. He paid the ultimate price by dying for our sin at the cross. For example, trade places. He did the ultimate trading places by becoming one of us. So this is my Common Ground Bible study, which is every month I do international Zoom. As I said, next one is October 18th. So, Applying the common ground seeking methodology to the study of the eye, the scar, eye 
and other scientists, we realized that we need to learn how the baby can heal without scar, but we don't need to touch the baby. We can use the placenta, the amniotic membrane that covers an unborn child. So together with Dr. Schaefer Sen at the Baskin Palmer Eye Institute and many other researchers, we started collecting placenta from mothers after giving birth to children. The placenta is discarded anyway. So we pull out this amniotic the membrane during research. And I did a bunch of laser treatments, experiments. Long story short, oh, this is some of the research um, uh, data we demonstrated it actually inhibits scarring. So it's a long process. We do lots of molecular biological characterization, published paper, and uh, this is my, the world's first, my pattern for amniotic membrane contact lens. And the whole long process of developing the product. Long story short, this is actually the first prototype. We developed the world's first amniotic membrane contact lens. That's the pattern. And these are actual way that how the amniotic membrane contact lens is being applied to patient eyes. So for example, this patient has this cornea scar for many years. So we applied the amniotic membrane contact lens, the scar, the, the ulcer start healing the ulcer, and she's happy. So amniotic membrane contact lens shows that faith and science do have common ground. And the, the film site is about the story how amniotic membrane contact lens has been developed. Last of the five purposes for me, remember I share four. Number one is to share the knowledge with other surgeons. Number two is to balance the East and West, take the best of East and West. Number three is to progress of human knowledge to improve the quality of our lives. Number four is to bring the world, humankind from deadly spiral polarization, the increased fixation on differences to focusing on what we have, all have our common ground, the sheer humanity. Number five is to help those who need the most help, even those who are not related to me. And that is once again, inspired by Christ, that he loves me unconditionally. That inspired me to love him back and love other human beings who are even though those who are not related to me, which are blind orphan children. So we have this foundation to help patients throughout the world, over 40 states and 55 countries, all foundation patients, surgeons perform free of charge. And this is Kajal. She was five and a half years old in India. One night, her stepmother poured acid, sulfuric acid into both of her eyes, trying to make Kajal a blind orphan child who can sing on the street to get so that she can beg for more money. But then Kajal was found to have no talent of singing. She couldn't sing. She was abandoned in a train station near Calcutta, India. That's how foundation find her, almost died from starvation. So film site is about Kajal's remarkable journey from darkness in trying to come from darkness to sight. And remember I learned uh, dancing during cultural revolution to escape labor camp. Now has become a hobby. I'm using it for medical charity work as well. I invented the idea of medical charity ball called the eyeball. When you come to eyeball, you see the beautiful dancing, but the point is that beautiful dancing reminds you how precious our sight is as human beings, because without sight, we cannot see all the beautiful things in life, and therefore how much we need to help those who have lost sight. My story has been captured in the book, From Darkness to Sight. Both my patients, blind orphan children from around the world, how physically their remarkable journey from darkness to sight, but also my journey as their eye doctor, 
how they have helped me come out of my own darkness to light spiritually. And that's my uh, autobiography in Chinese. As I said, it's being made into a film by Universal Studio and will be released October 27th. The film recently won the top prize in the International Christian Film Award. And here's a moment I'm going to show you a little trailer. I need to de-share and share back. Okay, let me get this trailer. Here we go. Uh, you, you may want to turn up the volume of your computer. Turn up the volume of your computer. Here we go. Two minutes trailer by Universal Studios. Matt, can you hear? Yao, can you hear? A little bit. I don't hear anymore. I'm going to help you see again. Can you hear? Yes, yes, it works. Can you see? Uh, no. Oh, probably it's in another screen. Should okay. I have you're to not... hear the sound. Okay, you can only hear the sound. Okay, I'll share again. Here we go. You said it was impossible. Can you hear and see? Yes, yes. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the trailer. I'm going to help you see again. You said it was impossible. Ah, there he is, the good doctor. You're going to be on the cover of the Tennessee Herald tomorrow morning. You may get a date out of this. Oh, uh, not with that picture. Very funny. Our pro bono office got a call from India. A little girl, six years old. Apparently, street beggars make more money if they're legitimately blind. So the stepmother poured sulfuric acid in each of her eyes. I'm going to help you see again, good job. Is it true that multiple doctors declared your patient irreversibly blind? Yes, but I developed this new breakthrough technology. Here we go. Do you see the light? No. I can't see anything. I had this patient from India. She reminds me of some things in the past that I can't get over. The present is made possible by the past. A long time ago, back in China, there was an uprising in my hometown. <laughs> Many bad things happened. <laughs> so, we came to America. Yes. It's hard getting into medical school, but you coming from China, don't waste your time. You cannot change the past, man. I feel like I'm stuck. Hello, doctor. This is Maria. We want to give her a chance to see again. I don't even know if I can perform surgery anymore. Stop I left it. you. Stop it. I need to just let go. I just don't want Maria to end up like a job. can only do our best. I'm with you, man. We can do this. I refuse to believe there is no purpose. I will be praying for you. Kajal is teaching me that there's more to life than what you see. We have to keep going. I thought you said it was impossible. Can you see yourself, Maria? I'm so pretty. <laughs> Okay, so that's the movie site. Um, if the, it's not probably released October 27th, however, it could be pushed back. That's why I'm bringing the film throughout the United States in 15 states now. I will cover the rest of the nation in the weekends, bring the film. So I'm like running a presidential campaign without running for president. If you want to see this film, you can email me, my email address in the chat room, and Max. Could you do me a favor, Max? Yes, I'm here. Every 10 minutes, copy my original blog at the beginning of the chat room today, which is all my contact information. Every 10 minutes or so, copy that, put in the chat room. Because that blog will be pushed out. And people, okay. 
Yeah. So every 10 minutes or so, just copy the whole block and copy paste to everyone again. So they always have my content information as they listen to the content of this presentation. So if you're interesting, thank you, Max. If you're interested in having me bring the film to your city, anywhere in the United States, please email me. We need to find volunteers locally, Chinese American churches, American churches, schools, Chinese schools, public library, and I will show the film free of charge. So email me if you are want you want to see the film. You want me to bring the film to your city. December first to December third, Friday through um, Sunday, I'm bringing film to Boston, and the lead host is Dr. Max Lee. So chat with Max if you want to come to see film or help as volunteer or help inviting folks. So this is what I talk about the common ground, the side movie Bible study. I wrote with my pastor about seeing beyond. And this is the Zoom tomorrow night about vision surgeries. Tonight is about science, medicine, and tomorrow night is more about the cost, insurance, and other things. Because I don't know these things as well as my team. So my team's helping me tomorrow night to help you with logistics and cost and insurance. You may want to take a picture of this as well. So you have this information, including how to ISVP this Zoom tonight. And for those in the audience who are Christians, this is my monthly uh, side movie Bible study. You can take a picture of it as well. Welcome, next one, October 18th. As well as those who wants to inspire young people to share our pearls about how to be more efficient in terms of work and study, you're all welcome to come to this Thursday, the Shiban Gongbei Zoom. I'll share with you 77 pearls that I've learned, many of them through mistakes that I made in life, how to do things more efficiently. I live in Nashville, Tennessee. This is our team. And we have some of the best technologies in the world, mainly because I have dual training in medicine and laser physics. As I mentioned, I published many papers. This is one in Nature. And uh, I worked at US FDA as the formal FDA panel member, first Chinese American to hold that post. And uh, also we are doing international surgeon training, many Taiwanese, Hong Kongese, and China, mainland Chinese surgeons have traveled and trained in our place. And we also, we deal with complications. So now I'd like to talk about each of these five procedures. You can take a picture of this. Once again, the, um, the, the, the Zoom is September, 26th tomorrow. So on this one, you see that we have four procedures. In the left upper, upper corner is smile, small incision LASIK. LASIK surgery is going obsolete now. LASIK surgery is going obsolete now. It's being replaced now by small incision LASIK or smile. Even though that's the best technology, only 5% of US surgeons perform SMILE. Why? Even though small incision is much better, less scarring, less pain, fast recovery. The reason is because what I just said, doctors are good with medicine. They have gone to medical school, but they sometimes lagging behind in technology adaptation because they don't have in-depth training, equal in-depth training in technology. That's why I'm teaching textbooks and helping. Even though United States only 5% performing SMILE, um, at our center in Nashville, Tennessee, we're doing nearly 100%. And second has to do with implantable contact lens. This has to do with people 
who wants to be able to not having to remove contact lens at bedtime. And uh, I can literally put a contact lens inside the patient's eyes. So let me show you two video. One is smile, one is implantable contact lens. Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna de-share and share back to make sure. I'm gonna do this, okay. So this is a smile, small incision LASIK. As I said, LASIK is becoming obsolete now. So if you yourself, or your children want to have LASIK, look for smile. United States only 5% performing smile. The surgeons perform smile. We actually use it for nearly 100%. Turn up the- Welcome back everybody. Turn up the um, computer sound. Max, can you hear and see? Right now, I can hear that. But you cannot see? No. Okay, no problem. I know exactly what to do. So here we go. Max, you can see now, right? Yes, yes. Okay, here we go. Turn up the, your computer sound so you can hear. Imagine that you've needed to wear glasses for 20 years, and then one day, you no longer need them. Sounds hard to believe, but it's been an actuality for one local woman. Margaret Coleman has spent the last 20 years wearing glasses, and she's struggled with vision issues. I look at screens all day, I'm emailing, I'm on my phone, and I'm oftentimes really sensitive to the light, and I get headaches and um, have a lot of pressure on my temples. I've been getting migraines. I also like to snorkel, um, been wanting to dive, and have never made the plunge because of that. So making it a lot easier to do that for me would be wow. life-changing. <laughs> now, earlier this week, Margaret underwent a breakthrough laser vision correction procedure. It's called SMILE. It was performed by Dr. Ming Wang at the Wang Vision 3D Cataract and LASIK Center. Now, the surgery is minimally invasive. It's the first breakthrough in laser vision correction in the last 25 years. SMILE has three distinct advantages compared with LASIK. Number one, it's minimally invasive. Number two, it causes less dry eye. And number three, it has less post-op complication, such as those that are related to flaps. Now, the Ming, the Wang Vision 3D Cataract and LASIK Center is the first and only center in Tennessee to offer smile surgery. We got a chance to see the incredible work of Dr. Ming Wang when he did Margaret's procedure. We even got to be there for the big reveal. Here's a moment of truth. Are you ready? I am. Okay. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go ahead. Blink, blink, blink. Look around. Look over there, Dr. Jack, can you see? Clear yeah. as a bell. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. You. Wow. Welcome back, everybody. Imagine that you've needed. So the next one I want to share with you is implantable contact lens. You may have children, grandchildren, who are wearing contacts. They don't want to wear them. We have a technology to put the contact lens literally inside of the eye, so they need, do not need to remove it. Matt, can you see and hear? I can only hear that. Okay. It bounced off again. No problem. Here we go. Uh, with your husband for how many years? Almost 12. Almost 12 years. So up until this point, without any optical correction, you really cannot see him clearly, right? Across the like this. No. So yeah. now, after Evo Lens, you will be able to see him clearly how he really looks like. Yeah. I hope you like what you see. Yeah, hopefully. But after 12 years, it may be too late to change your life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Implantable contact lenses offer better vision quality, less straw eye, reversibility. If you don't like it, you can take the lens out, and also can correct wider range of vision problems. In addition, it offers UV protection, 
pretend against camera. Three, two, one. Open, both eyes. Blink, blink, blink. Blink, blink, blink. Go to one. And you see. Yes? <laughs> Isn't it amazing? <laughs> Do I have to cry? <laughs> <laughs> So, so we covered two procedures now. The next thing we want to talk about is, Matt, can you see on the screen? Yes. Okay. Yes. The method is called Forever Young as Lao Hua Shou Su. Lao Hua used to have no treatment, press B opia. Now we do have a treatment now, but then you say, I can get my reading, get rid of my reading glasses, correct. But there's one catch, only 1% of US surgeons performing this procedure right now. Again, the same point, the doctors are catching up. And uh, so let me show you a video about Lao Hua Shou Shu, Presby Opia. And now, this Fox 17 Medical Minute. As we get older, the lens inside our eyeball gets more rigid. We lose the range of vision. That's why as we get older, we have to push things further and further away to read. That's a condition called presbyopia. So presbyopia is an age-dependent loss of reading ability up close. 3D Forever Young Lens Surgery has enabled our 40 to 65 year olds reduce that dependence on reading glasses. Once I found out that I thought Dr. Wang was the best person to go to, I came to uh, the vision center and literally went through every machine here. So, I mean, it's just a, a beautiful experience to come here and be able to see well after it's done. So 3D Forever Young Lens Surgery consists of laser lens surgery, laser astigmatism correction, and the 3D technology for surgery, and intraoperative wavefront smart eye surgery technology. So now with the 3D Forever Young Lens Surgery, when light comes to the eye of a, a patient with presbyopia, they're able to read things up close once again, restoring their accommodative function. Um really wonderful I had the surgery. I can't express enough uh, how happy I am with it. I am working now and uh, I can read the blueprints and just, uh, it's just better all the way around. 3D Forever Young Lens Surgery has enabled our 40 to 65 year olds to reduce their dependence on glasses or bifocals. We are proud to be the first center and only center in Tennessee that offers 3D Forever Young Lens Surgery. So that's that. the last one. The last procedure is cataract surgery. Cataract surgery. Matt, can you see on the screen? Uh, yes. Okay. So all the way to the right, do you all know that cataract surgery can be performed either with laser or blade? You may not know that. Laser is much better. However, do you know what percentage of cataract surgeries are performed with laser today in America? Only 5%. You see, it's the same theme recurring. Doctors have good knowledge about medicine, but technology they're catching up. If you're gonna have a cataract surgery today, I would recommend only laser. Let me show you a little video uh, one of dear friends, he passed away now, but we remember him so much. He was one of the first to have laser cataract surgery that I performed. So let me show you his story.
his signature cowboy. Max, can you hear and see? I can only hear. Okay, got it. Here we go. A hat and dark sunglasses do more than make Charlie Daniels look cool. They protect his eyes. For years now, the Mount Juliet native and country music legend has been losing his eyesight to cataracts. But today, he's among the first group of patients in Tennessee to undergo a revolutionary new procedure called smart eye surgery to have his sight restored. Country legend Charlie Daniels is used to performing in the glare of bright lights. In recent years, the 75-year-old entertainer has been losing his sight to cataracts. Today, he's one of the first patients in Middle Tennessee to undergo a revolutionary new procedure called smart eye surgery. I'm going to get straight down here and be able to see without glasses for the first time in 68 years. Dr. Ming Wang is the first cataract surgeon in the state to introduce the smart eye surgery technology. Instead of waiting weeks, this new technique allows a surgeon to customize treatment as needed immediately after the cataract has been removed. That we can actually do the mid-flight adjustment on the operating table before surgery is finished to test drive, to see how well this particular patient's body, in this case, Ms. Daniel's uh, eye, is uh, reacting to the lens implanted. Charlie had surgery on his left eye two days ago. Well, it's still a little, a little fuzzy, and I see some halos, but that's to be expected. He had surgery on the right eye Thursday morning. Smart Eye Technology lets Dr. Wang analyze Charlie's vision and make precise adjustments during the procedure, giving Charlie a faster recovery time. I'm just looking forward to not having to reach over and pat around on the table for glasses when I get up in the morning to see where I'm going. So, these are the five procedures. Max, can you see the screen? Uh, yes. Perfect. So in summary, take a, make sure you take a picture, then we're gonna discuss. First of all, I only discuss medicine tonight. If you want to know about insurance costs and all these things, my team knows a lot more than I do. Tomorrow night, I'm presenting another Zoom, but there will be questions the team will be on. We'll answer all of your questions about insurance costs and all these things. So you want to take a picture so that you know how to register for tomorrow's follow-up Vision Zoom about practical issues, economic issues. Again, if you want to ask questions, please only email me and only in English because for whatever reason, my team who are all Americans still have not learned Mandarin to this day. And they also still have not learned what the heck is WeChat either. So to reach me about medical questions, which I depend on my team, American team to help me, you have to email me and you have to put in English. The WeChat in the lower right corner is for your own use. If you want to know about the movie, I can send you some Chinese uh, information about the movie. So to finish, uh, this laser cara surgery uh, technology actually very interesting, high tech. That's the way to do cara surgery. Even in the United States, only 5% of cara surgery is performed with laser. We use laser for nearly 100% at the One Vision Institute. We're leading the nation in the percentage of high tech adaptation. And this is the cornea. This is a talk about various different technology, trying to map our eye to be more accurate. We performed Tennessee's first femtosecond LASIK, first smile, first laser cataract surgery, and also the world's first laser artificial cornea, United States first uh, laser intex for character conus, and also we're doing experiment trying to figure out how to improve the technology on that. We use technology in high end, we're number one in the United States. And uh, regarding the press BOB, we know as we get older, our eyes gets worse. Various different treatment we can do, but we have some of the best technology now.
to help. This is my textbook and a Chinese translation about how to treat presbyopia or lao hua ye. These are different lenses we can put in and different advantages and disadvantages. The goal is to customize to you. For each person, the different lens that fits you the best. We continue to research, trying to figure out how to reverse aging. That's our ultimate goal. And uh, these are some new research experiments. Finally, as a citizen of this great nation, I feel that I have responsibility, as I said, to help those who need the most help. That's purpose number five, Christ inspired. So I've been doing this work for a while, almost 30 years to help those who need the most help. Blind orphan children from around the world. Uh, these are actually some of the star patients you may recognize, Dolly Parton, uh, Nico Kidman, and others. I actually performed China's first all laser LASIK. Uh, our patient had come from all over the United States, 40 states, and 55 countries. As a Chinese American, the reason I have this film, I'm taking a film around the United States, is to inspire Chinese Americans to stand up, speak out, and tell our stories. There's a large gap between the contribution they made by Chinese Americans to America and the recognition and appreciation American society has for us. And side, the movie demonstrates that we need to do two things to reduce that gap. One, that gap is what giving rise to discrimination and ignoring, being ignored. So the, two, the side movie demonstrates, number one, we need to step out of our circle, try to do more things to help American mainstream society. This is just as our, much our country as anybody else's. Side demonstrates one aspect of such uh, help American mainstream societies through medical charity to help those who cannot afford medical care. But not only that, Chinese公开社会是不够的。你不告诉人家，人家就不知道我们华人做的贡献。他们不知道华人做的贡献，他就会给华人带来敌意。我们就不能得到作为一个美国公民所应该得到的法律保护。所以，我们不光说到做到，
，你在美国主流媒介，在美国主流媒介 （mainstream media） 看到的我们的故事吗？除了功夫和古装戏以外，有我们现代华人在美国现代生活的辛酸苦辣，我们的努力，我们的贡献的故事吗？几乎没有，几乎没有。我们必须改变这个现状，否则我们作为。在美国的华裔美国人，我们就会受到歧视，就会受到忽视，我们就不能享受美国法律的对我们的保护，对每一个美国公民都应该有的保护。所以，赛这个电影全国一演，是 generate a movement 给大家提示，我们每个华人在美国不能左右中国、美国、台湾之间的紧张。这些都是 negative 的，但我每个华人都能做一件事情，都准左右一个事情，而且是 positive 的。什么呢 ？Tell our stories。这不光是我 tell my story， 你也可以 tell 你的 story。通过不同的媒介，我们要中国人做到，不光说到做到，还要在做到，还要在说到。呃。我是作为基督徒，我经常在那个计划每个月在美国教堂，这些都是美国人的教堂，做基督见证，讲科学和信仰是 work together 的。对华人也做帮助我们的权利 stand up。哦，这个是 I was lucky to receive 这个 Nashvilleing of the Year， 他这个奖就很多很多年， 1 5 0年了，是第一次给一个华人，每每年一个城市一个。啊、呃，这个是我在当地的基督教大学，啊、呃，这个 honorary doctor degree。我认为作为基督徒吧，你也许不是基督徒，但是我们都有 shared humanity。我发现对我来说，科学给我的工具，而信仰给我个目的。Example in my case， 我的目的就是今天晚上讲的五个目的 ：to share our knowledge，to remember。Our eastern roots, and be a, embrace the present West. 拿中西方最好的。第三个 ，to progress human knowledge, so we can improve the quality of lives through research. 第四个，在四分五裂的今天，不管美国国内还是全世界，台湾、中国、美国，在人人在面临的 deadly spiral polarization. 大概每个国家、每个 party、每个人种都在 focus on what we don't have， 那半瓶子空的。人类必须意识到，为了人类要生存下去，我们必须改变我们自己态度，要看那个半瓶子满的。We should not be fixated on our differences and unable to work across political aisles, racial divides, and ethnic divisions, and、uh, between Chinese America and、uh, Taiwan. We should focus on what we do all have, which is our shared humanity. Finally, my number one five, five purpose, inspired by Christ, is to help these who need the most help, even those who are not related to me. That's Christ's love, unconditional love. And in my case, is to help blind orphan children. I'm not related to them, but Christ inspired me to help. All my work is credit to Christ. He works through me, his magic, but I have to do my part to make a world better place and to learn how to love. So, 如果大家感兴趣，这个十月十八号有这个嗯、um, monthly 电影的 Bible study。大家欢迎来，然后呢，四月十八下雨，你可以拍张照。然后呢，这个电影呢，如果你感兴趣，我把带电影带到你的城市，你可以在 chat room 给我，呃 ，Max please post paste 我的 contact information block again in chat room。大家可以 email me， 我可以把电影带某一个周末带到你的城市。这些所有电影的 show 都是 free 的。今天讲了，咱们有这个三四个技术啊
，根据年龄，根据各方面，但最终的中心思想要用激光。全国全美用激光只有百分之一到百分之五，但是我们必须要用最好的技术，因为你是眼睛和视力。在 One Vision， 在 n a t i o n 我们用激光是接近百分之一百。We're number one in the United States right now, leading the nation in the percentage of laser technology application. 主要是我。比较运气，在我的 education background， 我不光医学有个博士，激光有个博士，在全世界激光眼科医生里面，这个大概没有第二个人。嗯，明天晚上大家愿意来，除了技术 technology 可以问一些问题，有关 insurance 啊 cost 等等，也带一些朋友来。你看这个屏幕上，带朋友来也可以省很多钱，因为我们希望更多人来听。这样大家能够 get education， 所以你可以带很多朋友来，你可以大大的 substantially 减这个这个 cost 减低。啊、uh, ，刚才讲这个 Bible study， 还有呢，这个礼拜四，这是第一期事半功倍，怎么样做事情比较 efficient？ 我不说我已经是 perfect， 但是我想帮助大家一个起点。你听了以后，你也可以在那个 list 七十七个。事半功倍的经验谈里面加上你的 list， 你的工作也许做了比我好，但咱们可以相互学习。In summary， 今天讲的是两个内容，第一个是这个电影，为什么这个电影代表一个 a purpose-driven life，a purpose-driven life？ 刚才讲五个 purpose，Christ inspired。第二个今天讲的。State of art laser treatment for nearsightedness, farsightedness, astigmatism, presbyopia, and cataract. 也讲了羊膜隐形眼镜。希望大家在十月二十七号都去踊跃去看电影。只要做一个事情，看电影，叫我们的华二代去看。希望他们更 motivated, work harder, appreciate what they have. 希望他们能够在学科学的时候不要忘记，科学给你只是工具，而主耶稣的信仰是给你一个目的。What are you going to use the technology for? 给美国朋友看，让他们真正了解咱们华人对美国社会做的贡献。我们 all we are asking， 只是一个一个美国每一个美国公民都应该享受的法律保护以及 benefit， 因为我们都 pay taxes。我认为我们必须要去站起来，要争取。不管大国，美国、中国、台湾，乱七八糟那么多 tension， 我们华人不能左右那些大国之间的关系，但我们可以左右一个事情，而且是 positive， 不是 negative 的，就什么呢 ？We can all tell our stories. So tell your stories to America. 谢谢。有问题的话，大家可以放到 chat room， 然后那个。Max， 麻烦你一下，读那个问题好吗？读那个问题，这样子的话，的这样比较 efficient。我就是，呃，还没继续 ，still 要我还是 keep everybody muted， 还是 keep the muted， 因为每个人讲的话会比较拖。然后 Dr. Max Lee 来讲这个问题会比较快。我们有九十二个人 participate。I'm looking forward to seeing many of you tomorrow. 美东时间七点四十五分，而且 see many of you this Thursday. 美东时间晚上八点半，有关事半功倍的 Zoom， 把小孩带来，让他们也 inspired。他们我们可以继续学习。I can learn from all of you as well. 好 ，Max, go ahead and start with questions. I will listen. Okay. Can your laser technology treat AMD? I don't know what is AMD. Yeah, 我知道。Age related macular degeneration. 好，我还要再 share 一下，因为我要回答问题得用这个 screen 啊。这个 Matt， 你看到有镜镜头看到吗？呃，可以看见，可以看见。哦，可以看见。OK， 好，我刚以为可以看啊。这个啊，好。今天讲主要这四个内容，没有提到 AMD age related macular degeneration 啊。这个视网膜。色素病变目前最好的治疗办法只是 injection， 只是 injection， 啊，它不能 improve eyesight， 只能保持你的视力。但是我们现在做这个
啊、呃，这个羊膜隐形眼镜啊 ，fetal 啊 ，stem cell research 可能会在今后几年 offer new treatment for macular。现在还没有。我的 specialty 不是 retina， 我的 specialty 是眼前段，也就是角膜和晶体。我的 specialty 就这四个手术 ：smile、implantable contact lens、forever young lens and cataract。也就是我的 special 就治疗五个 condition， 五个哪五个呢？近视、远视、散光、老花、白内障，也就是 near sightedness、far sightedness、astigmatism、presbyopia and cataracts。下一个问题 ，What's the best way to determine if we are eligible for implantable contact lenses？ 好。很好 ，the best way 是一步一步来啊。因为什么一步步来呢？因为这个做眼科手术最重要是安全、安全再安全。所以你不要 jump into， 因为有的病人就不适合。Sometimes the right thing to do is not surgery or not surgery right away. Wait for the best technology. 我每个病人都是一个 criteria， 就是 what I want to recommend surgery to you if you were my family members. 如果你是我的 family members 的话，如果我建议的手术，我才会推荐给你。我刚刚讲过，做医生，我认为啊，最重要的是换位思考，换位思考 ，speaking the language of my patients， not speaking language of doctor。好，那么我刚才讲过，我们有这个啊、呃、Zoom 啊，这个 Zoom 呢是明天晚上是专门讲一些 logistic questions， 而且整个 process。所以呢，我呃欢迎大家来听啊，明天一个小时，美东时间七点四十五分，一个小时。听完以后呢，你给我们送个 email， 因为如果你听了以后，也许你对这个晶体置换不感兴趣啊，那你就 education 就行了。但如果你感兴趣，你要给我们送个 email， 在 Zoom 以后，把你的眼睛情况讲清楚，在 email 里。必须 English， 必须 email， 把你的地址，你眼睛有没有做过什么手术，你的屈光度 ，you know， 是近视、远视、几几几百度等等 ，as much as you know， 寄个 email 给我们。然后如果你有那个 last eye exam， you attach 啊，然后我们的梯队会专门给你做个 free consultation， 因为你已经听了这个 Zoom 了 ，tomorrow night。然后我们又得到你的 information after the Zoom tomorrow night， 我们会根据那些情况来帮助你决定你是不是可能是 candidate。如果你不可能，那就 wait until better technology。如果你是可能的话，我们下一步呢就看你当地能不能帮你找到医生啊。如果是在当地找，我刚刚讲过，像老花手术有百分之一的手术是在美国做这手术，如果当地找不到，你可以考虑。来 ，natural tendency 一般都飞过来，第二天做手术，第三天就会飞回去，等等啊，你也可以听一下乡村音乐等等。大家把我的 email address copy 下来，拍张照啊。Matt 再 copy 一下我的那个 signature block in the chat room one more time， 大家可以看到。Okay. You can contact me。记住，眼科医术英文题必须是英文，因为我的美国人到今天还懒惰，不想学中文。没办法，必须要英文，<笑>必须要用 email 啊。下一个问题，好的，等一会儿，激光手术是否会引起干眼症 ？Good question. Yes， 那是老式的 LASIK。你看左上角是 smile， 是新式的手术叫 small incision LASIK。你看这张图，那个 LASIK 那么大一个 cut 圈。它的右边那 small 那么小，这个 cut 这个 flap 越长，弧形越长，它的 nerve cut 就越多，它干眼就越严重。所以这就是为什么在我们中心，只要病人是 candidate， 我们都接近 100% 都用 smile 了，因为它不像 laser 会引起干眼。但是你说为什么见好的话 smile， 为什么全美国只有 5% 的医生？用 smile 呢？百分之九十五还在用 old LASIK 呢？原因就在于
，医生的医学知识很好，但是 technology 是 lagging behind。这就是为什么我一直在教学写这些书，中英文的，因为我有这个条件。我在世界上眼激光眼科医生手术里面，大概是我不知道第二个啊。大概是唯一一个有激光物理博士，所以我想帮助所有医生，所以我写这教授书教学，每个礼拜都要有医生从全世界来的观摩我们的小切口手术。So to answer the question, get a smile. It costs much less dry than LASIK. Next question: Can a surgery recover eyesight from damages of glaucoma? Oh, this is very important. Damaging glaucoma is optic nerve damage. This is irreversible, irreversible. Ah, so now, if you are in a good doctor's hand, you should not lose eyesight because of glaucoma. In our hand, ninety-nine point nine nine percent of patients with glaucoma, 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 高空嘛的 laser， 今天这个不不在这个表上，是一个另外一个叫做 SLT laser。如果你有高空嘛，你明天晚上听了以后，你可以给我们送 email， 我们根据你的病情，我可以帮你找当地最好的高空嘛 specialist， 而且是用激光的。Next question. Uh, no more. Okay. Uh, one more. Why there is an age restriction? Of sixty plus for cataract surgery. Oh, these are not restrictions. These are the ballpark age range. Ballpark. For example, the cataract is sixty plus, but I have done cataract as young as fifteen years old, fifteen. So, in general, the majority of people are sixty plus. Because of cataract, they 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 are 啊，这个出去有太阳光的时候，你不戴太阳镜，你的 cataract 可能在五十五岁甚至五十岁就会形成，啊，所以呢，这个只是个 guideline。像那个老花，不是说四十五岁一定有老花，有的人到五十岁都不老花，有的人四十岁、三十五岁就老花，这只是一个 guideline 啊。好 ，since you asked that question， 今天呢，我给大家一个 extra little bonus point， 就说你怎么样能够。Slow down your aging of your eye. How do you slow down your aging of the eye? 有几个东西要做的。第一个，你可以做一下笔记啊。第一个，我们现在医学发现 ，aging 就是个干燥的过程。呃，十九岁的女孩子，她的那个手啊，非常这个 wet and supple。但是九十岁的老太婆，她的皮肤就很干。所以这年纪就是一个干的过程。Aging process is simply a process of drying up. 所以我们每个人都 shiver up over time, basically. 所以第一个呢，要多喝水，不是等到口渴再喝啊。每天定时的几大罐水要灌进去。你把你身体的每个细胞都胀起来 ，hydrate it. 你可以 slow down aging. 这就为什么有些农民啊，在地田整天太阳晒。他不喝水，所以他们的皮肤就比较老。第二个 ，sunglasses， sunglasses have shown the ultraviolet light sunlight have shown to increase cataract and macular degeneration。所以下次如果看到我在街上看到你们中间任何一位 ，I expect 你在戴 sunglasses。第三个 ，diet， 要吃那个绿色的 green leaf vegetables and carrots。So your grandmother was right. Eat your carrots. 同时，你说我想懒惰，不想吃这些素菜，你也可以用那个 multivitamin 来带，每天一颗 multivitamin A to Z。第四个，要足够的睡觉，因为每车这个车这个人身体上的车，它每天晚上得 tune up 一下啊、uh, ，sleep on regular time and sleep sufficiently。第五个 ，exercise。有的朋友说，那么 exercise 跟眼睛有什么关系？ exercise 只是把我的胳膊、呃腿练健康点。No， 很有关系，因为眼睛里面都是小血管 ，retina 都是小血管。你在 exercise 的时候，你的那个血管流的快，你的眼睛的里面血管流它也更健康。在这个情况下，我讲 exercise 啊
，X S 会有缺点的，因为我们年纪大，骨质疏松，你会有 hip fracture， knee replacement surgery 需要会 fracture 的，特别是女的，在雌激素啊，呃 ，menopause， 呃 ，menopause 以后啊。所以怎么样 exercise， 只是你不会受创伤，不会这个呢？我告诉你，最坏的 exercise 的办法 ，I absolutely recommend against it。这个是最容易引起这个骨质疏松和这个 fracture 的，就是爬山、爬楼 ，absolutely no。因为那个结大腿的结构，它那个 knee 和 hip is not designed to carry away vertically up the stairs。往上上下下往下跳，绝对不行的。你每次跳 land 的时候，你的 weight 如果下面放个磅秤的话，你150磅的人，你跳上去那一刹那是300磅，对你的逆很伤。所以不要爬山，不要跳，少跑步。跑步每次咚咚咚的震的也是引起这个骨质疏松和 fracture 的。走路是可以的，但是走路没有下面一个 sports 好，什么呢？骑自行车比它好，因为骑自行车的话，你那个这个力啊，一直动的时候呢，它没有任何 weight， 因为你这个 weight 在你屁股上面。You want to exercise your leg without bearing weight. That's the goal. 所以最好的 exercise 是什么呢？游泳，因为你平的，水给你浮起来，你可以动胳膊动腿 ，gets all the exercise without bearing any weight. 为什么我要讲这么个序列？因为年纪大跟年轻人不一样，年轻人可以跳跳泡泡啊，爬山啊，怎么这个 no jumping or no？ 年纪大我们必须知道，骨质疏松 fracture is major problem。你到一定年纪啊，你如果 fracture 啊，像骨盆 fracture 什么东西啊，百分之五十的病人在七十岁以上，骨盆 fracture， 它的 death rate 是 fifty percent， 有一半人 could not make it。So Exercise wisely as we get older. Do things that we get exercise, but without bearing weight. Ah, these are all good. The last one, how to slow and slow down aging? Be happy. Be happy. If any friend is bad for you, let it go. If there is something you want to do, let it go. If you see a person, don't try to compare with that person's difference. 想想怎么跟那人有更多的共同点。人不高兴的时候 ，immune system 会 down，immune system 会 down 就会年纪越大就会有 cancer，cardiovascular disease，stroke。所以这些是啊，从医学上已经证明的几个非常重要的办法来 slow down aging。还有什么问题吗 ？Yes, more questions. How long、okay. has the smile technology been used? Has、oh. any long-term side effect been reported? Yeah, 很好。LASIK surgery 呢，已经有四十五年了。Smile surgery 呢，是十年。那为什么 smile surgery？ 看这张图，左上角，它被 develop 原因就是因为 LASIK 会引起干眼，所以呢，切口要小一点，它减少干眼。现在虽然 smile， 呃，只有十年。但是现在 proven 它是 better than LASIK， 也就是说，如果说你一辈子都有没有可能没有问题呢 ？Nobody knows。但是 LASIK 已经四十五年 ，Smile 已经在，就是 LASIK 是巨人呐、啊、，Smile 是站在巨人肩膀上那个人，所以他只会比 LASIK 好。OK， 在我手里这些手术的成功率，也就是 in terms of not having to wear glasses afterwards is ninety nine。Point eight percent, ah, so smile and LASIK 都是手术，都是有一些危险性 risk 的，但它的 risk 现在比 LASIK 还要小。LASIK around for forty five years, smile ten years, but it's better than LASIK. 所以 LASIK 既然是安全四十五年 ，smile 至少也是安全四十五年。科学都讲新的手术一般都是比老的手术好一点。Otherwise, why you bother developing new technology? 说穿了。如果我在自己家人的话，他来做手术，我现在都是做 smart。我弟弟，我给他二十几年以前做的，那时候没有 smart， 我给他做 lasik。等到他的女儿是我唯一一个 niece， 
，等到他需要做的时候，在几年以前我就给他做 smile， 所以我的 family member 全是都 smile now。Next question. How long has、uh, okay? How long has the technology of implantable contact lenses been around? What are the side effects? Implantable contact lens has been around for about twenty years. It's very safe. 但是有个 trick， 什么呢？只有百分之一的医生在美国做这个手术，只有百分之一的医生在美国做这个手术。所以呢，你说，哎呦，王医师啊，这个我作为病人，我怎么知道去？呃、uh, ，first of all， does it make a big difference between doctors？ 是不是这个手术这个医生做跟另外医生是有没有很大差别呢？ Big, big, big difference. 就像打高尔夫球一样，你可以说是同样一个高尔夫球，所有高尔夫球员打的技术都一样吗 ？Of course not. It's a human endeavor. Depends on each person's knowledge, skill, training. So there are just as much difference among doctors performing the same type of surgery as the difference among golfers performing the same sport, golf. So you, 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 你试试看，你跑到医生面前，你说：“哎，医生啊 ，Are you any good? <笑> Nobody will answer you honestly <笑>。所以你不能问医生直接的。所以怎么办呢？这是我的建议。第一个，你做一些 research， 你看这医生去什么学校。我不是说好的学校就一定学生好，但是好的学校比较好的学生的可能性大一点。这是你可以做 research 的啊。Where did they graduate？ 第二个。他们有没有写书啊？写 paper 啊？有没有做 research？ 那 research 的他的 knowledge updated， 大部分医生百分之九十九的医生是不做 research 的，只是临床 practice。OK， 这个是第二个 criteria。你就问医生嘛，你说你有没有写过什么书啊？你发表多少 paper 啊？等等。所以这两个点是 objective， 都客观的。You can actually find out 客观的，不是主观的问医生 Are you any good？ That doesn't work。好。第一个快点在哪毕业的，不能 guarantee， 但是增加 likelihood to be safe， 就是 one check check box one check。第二个 check 呢，这医生有没有写书写 research， 他就呃 update technology。一百医生大概只有一个医生写书写 research 做 research。第三个，第三个问这医生，你要跟我讲做 implantable contact lens， how much do you do it？ what percentage？ Of your surgeries in that particular surgery, 也就是说，如果你要修你的房顶，一个人过来了修 repair your roof, the first question you have to ask is how often do you do this? 如果这个人修你的房顶说啊，我差不多五年来修一个这样的房顶，那绝对不要。但是如果这个人说 yeah, every week I repair roof like this, 所以你就问医生，你说这个手术你说建议我做 ，do you do much? What percentage of your surgery is using this technique? 最后一个，去想办法了解其他医生有没有叫这医生做，因为在医学在医生里面，他们比较 inside news 啊，就像你到一个手术房，你知道谁问吗？问那个护士，因为同一个 knee replacement surgery， 一个医生他呃很好，他一来这个病人很 always very smooth， 非常成功，不痛不流血，但同一个手术下一个医生来，护护士手术房护士都知道。这些病人老是很痛，这样流血，就是两个不同的高尔夫球的水平嘛，球员的水平嘛，这 very 自然。所以四个 criteria to find out where to go。第一个 ，where did they get the training? Graduation schools， 这个是这个四个 check 其中一个 check。第二个，这个医生有没有做 research 写书写 paper？ 啊，只要只有百分之一的医生做这样事情，是第二个 check。第三个，你问这医生 ，do you do this type of surgery？ Often, what percentage of your surgery is this particular type? 就像这个 roof 是不是修这样的房顶？是不是经常修？第四个，你想办法找一下，能不能找这样？就是说有多少医生去看这样这呃这个手术师 ？I will I will tell you my information so that you can know you know my school at graduation. 第二，这个是第一块。第二，第二个是呃、uh, research paper textbook I told you about. 写了十本教科书。第三个，嗯，就是这个 technology 的 percentage。我讲过，美国的 smile percentage 是百分之五 ，implantable contact lens 百分之一 ，forever young lens 老花只有百分之一，白内障激光也是百分之五，所以都是 between 百分之一到百分之五
但在我们中心是接近百分之一百。In fact, we are number one in the United States in the percentage of these surgeries using laser. 这是第四第四问题。<咳>医生啊、uh, ，so far <咳>我做了三十年的手术，我做了五万五千例，其中包括四千多个医生。Next question. Okay, for near sight vision, will the near sight near vision come back after surgery? Oh, good question. We people have have this five condition. Ah, we people have five condition. What five condition? Ah, eyes. Ah, look, near sightedness is myopia. This is the third one. Far sightedness is hyperopia. 中间 astigmatism 散光 ，presbyopia 老花 ，cataracts 白内障。我们人就是这 five refractive problems for the eye， 逃不出这个 five 啊。所以呢，刚才讲的这这个几个四个手术，它是不同程度的啊。我跟你讲一下是怎么样治疗什么啊。这个 smile 在左上角只治疗。前面三个，近视、远视、散光；左下角 implantal contact lens 也只治疗前面三个，近视、远视、散光。中间这个 f o r e v e r lens u r g e r y 呢，治疗 all five， 近视、远视、散光、老花，包括白内障。为什么呢？他哎，你做老花这个手术以后，你一辈子都不会有白内障。啊，这个激光白内障手术 all the way to the right。也是能够治疗 all five conditions， 但治要治疗 all five condition， 就老花手术、白内障比较难，这个技术要求比较高。这就是为什么我跟你讲，在美国目前只有百分之一到百分之五的医生做这样的技术。但是 I'm sure， 随着今后很多若干年更多 teaching， 我一直在做 teaching， 在 lecture worldwide 写书，叫中国美国医生、台湾医生。我希望这些技术的 application。The percentage of tech, high tech adaptation will increase. 这样才能真正的帮助。我们中心已经达到接近百分之一百了。所以，但是我们想帮助其他医生和诊所提高他们的百分比，用高技术的、高端技术的百分比。Because they don't have laser specialty training, as I did. Next question. Can Chinese acupuncture help aging of eyes and help with various problems? Yeah, acupuncture 呢是一个 ancient therapy， 对吧？在目前来说呢，我们认为 acupuncture 不会 hurt， 它不会有什么坏的作用。但是 exact how much it helps， 目前没有任何 controlled clinical study demonstrating。所以我一般对别人讲的，我说如果你想来针灸啊 ，herb medicine 啊，大概没有坏处吧。但是你的近视、你的远视、你的散光、你的老花、你的白内障，这些 e a r t medicine 啊，这个 acupuncture， 它是不会阻 prevent 这些 condition 的。Next question: How many smile operation have you performed? Oh, thousands. I'm probably among the top, I don't know, five surgeons in the United States. In terms of number of smiles that performed, top five, lah. Next question: One eye need cataract surgery, another one no cataract but with severe nearsighted. Any major concerns? Yes. You this situation, I is often have. I specialize specialize in difficult cataract surgery. Ah, just like this situation, ordinary people don't do this. Your two eyes are very disconnected. 这问题在这儿，你有白内障这个眼睛呢，你要做白内障，因为白内障手术有个 window， 你不能太早，也不能太迟做。如果你 miss that window， 它的 risk of surgery dramatically increase for cataract surgery， 所以你要做个全面检查。它白内障是一到四啊，第一级、第二级、第三级、第四级，我们一般二级时候就做，原来 traditionally 等到四到四级再做。实际上你想看，比如你今天是六十五岁。以前白内障手术等到你八十五岁、九十岁再做，所以呢，你这个六十岁到六十五岁，一直到八十五岁、九十岁，这么二三十年 ，increasing c a r a t i n c r e a s i n g frustration，reducing life quality， 
。那你想看，你这样跟那么几十年的发出去，你到九十岁了做手术，做了手术，然后 see perfect， what's the point？ What is the point？ 对不对？所以呢，现在医学是往 earlier treatment， 因为你的生活从六十五岁到八十五岁，远远比你八十五岁到一百零五岁重要，对不对？所以呢，不要等到九十岁做手术。对啊，你 you do you don't have another life， 所以呢，我们现在都是比较早做手术，但是这个白内障呢，一般要有二级啊，一没有二级我们不做，但我们不会等到三级。As traditional blade surgery， 那那么你另外眼睛没有白内障啊，它呢就很有可能会产生白内障，因为白内障，除非你一个眼睛有创伤，因为没有眼，假设你没有一个单眼创伤的话，两个眼睛的白内障是 genetic， 它会形成或者 sunlight exposure 啊，你没有戴太阳眼镜，肯定两个眼睛都没戴，所以呢，我会我们会做一个全面检查，看你没有白内障手术的眼睛到底有没有一部分白内障。总的来说，两个眼睛都要做，因为它必须要 match， 因为没有白内障眼睛的高度近视，对不对？所以我们都把它这个做掉。也许你一个眼睛是 forever young lens， 就一个眼睛白内障手术啊，这都可以的。然后最终呢，你一辈子都不需要做白内障手术了，呃，两个眼睛都不需要了啊。然后呢，我们把近视、远视、散光、老花和白内障都治疗掉，两个眼睛，这个都比较 challenging 一些这种 new type of surgery 啊，它有。Technical adaptation. This is why. Why? Because difficulty. Why? 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 像我们呃，如果你有这个 ladies eye exam， you can request that from the doctor's office attach that。所以我的梯队全是美国人啊，白的位，所以必须要 email 用 English。我们做一个会诊，免费的 consultation， 然后我们会告诉你 what we recommend， what to do for each eyes。然后下步我们就帮你当地尽量去找。这样你不要 travel to Nashville Tennessee。但有很多病人他们就说认为还是要来，也可以，我们可以安排。Next question。Does implantable contact lenses stop the progression of myopia, astigmatism, etc.? No need to change prescription over time. Oh, very good question. 有的病人呢，百分之九十五的病人呢，这个 nearsightedness astigmatism 不会 change 很多。比如从二十一岁到四十五岁，这样他们就是 implantable contact lens 啊。但有百分之五的病人，他的屈光度一直在变化。这样的病人 are not candidates for implantable contact lens to begin with. OK， 这样的病人，我发现他的屈光度还在浮动的话，我们就不做手术，你就戴你的 glasses 或者呃 regular outside of the eye contact lenses， 或等到你呃四十呃这个四十五岁以后再做 forever young lens 都可以考虑。就是 the end， 最重要就是 safety， 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 一定要 do the right thing， and sometimes right thing may not be surgery or may not be surgery right away. Next question. 你要听这个 Zoom， 听了 Zoom 以后呢，给我们个 email， 然后我们再根据你的具体情况，那 email 写的越仔细越好啊。如果你眼睛 ，in English once again， 必须 email， 不要用 WeChat， 不要用中文。OK， 好，我们可以。Um, for dry eyes due to for dry eyes due to old age， do you suggest to use eye drops？ Which what yes, kind？ Yeah，、uh, dry eye due to old age is normal. It's as normal as wrinkles in old age. OK， 我刚才讲的，我们人呐、啊，都是在 shrivel up， 都干掉的。人就是 aging， 就是干掉的过程。所以呢，当然我刚刚讲过，第一个叫喝水啊。现在 dry eye 是非常非常 advanced。我们中心有个专门做 dry eye clinic， 它有很多很多步骤。第一步是 drops， 有各种各样的 drops， 根据你的情况啊。第二个呢，可以做 plug。第三个 ，guess what， 就是羊膜隐形眼镜，就是我发明的。羊膜隐形眼镜 actually is one of the most powerful treatment now for dry eyes 啊，这个是很重要。然后第四个呢，有些更大的一些，包括一些手术等等啊。这个 dry eyes 需要 dry specialist， 所以呢，你听明天的 Zoom 完了以后，给我们送个 email， 把你 dry 仔细 describe 一下，包括你的地址 ，where do you live 等等。然后，如果你有能够拿到你的 eye exam、last eye exam， 就只要 last eye exam， 我不需要所有的，以前就 last eye exam attach。然后我们根据情况，我们来呃做个会诊 
recommend what you to do， 来帮你找一下，在你那块住的城市有没有。这个 dry eye specialist 不是一般的眼科医生，是他是个 specialist， 是 dry specialist。像我们有，我们是 specialist in dry eye， 我们有个 dry eye clinic， 全是干眼病。必须今天 name of game 是 specialist。一百年以前，你跟一个 family doctor 就行了。今天 no medicine is all specialized， cardiologist， GI， ophthalmologist。光是小小的眼科，一个小小的眼科，我们都有二十个 specialty。OK， 我我不 specialize in retina。视网膜，但是我我 specialize in cornea and the lens, the front part of the eye. 其他有那个 retina special on the back part of the eye. 所以一个小小眼睛都有二十个 specialist. 所以听 Zoom 完了以后给我们送个 email describing your condition detail. Then we do a free consultation for you. We tell you what we recommend. Then we try to find a local doctor for you. And occasionally you may need to travel to Nashville. Next question. 做眼保健操对近视和老花有有帮助吗 ？No evidence, but it probably will not hurt. 眼保健操很有意思啊！你做以后，你的眼睛的旁边那个、那个、那个血管啊，它就有点红、有点酸、有点热。That is like the exercise. 所、so, 以做眼保健操是一个 exercise. OK. 所、so, 以但是。呃，对，它不会改变这个屈光度。你是近视还是近视，远视还是远视，有散光还是有散光，有白内障还是有白内障。OK， 所以呢，你要把眼保健操看成它是个 exercise， 就是 exercise。呃，我是建议病人，如果你你平时你看这个电脑啊、手机上，你可以眼睛揉一下，也是一个眼保健操，帮他血液循环啊。把这个手指啊放在眼眶上面转半圈，下面转半圈，转在骨头上。压在骨头上，很酸的，很舒服的。然后我去 Japanese restaurant， 我都要个 hot pot towel， 很很热很热的毛巾。然后我 lean back， 把那热毛巾罩在眼睛上，眼睛闭起来，很舒服的。或者我拿一杯热茶，我手就 cuddle 那个 cup， 然后把手变得很烫很烫，眼睛闭起来，哗，像把那手手掌按在。两个眼睛一下，眼睛作用就很热，非常舒服。这是就加快这个 circulation， 你的 maintain its health， 但它不可能改变你的屈光度的，或者白内障。Next question， 二十年前做过 LASIK， 十二年前近视又恢恢复了，所以将来还可以做这这些激光手术吗 ？Good question， 这个是。你一旦做过 LASIK， 然后现在已经会反弹，你就 in the category of more challenging cases 啊，这是第一个。一般的 LASIK surgeon 是 not enough experience， 他们做 initial LASIK 也是，但是，呃，你反弹了以后，这个比较 complex， 因为你的眼睛已经有过手术啊，所以呢，你要专门去找一些是可以做的，是可以 enhance 的，没有问题。但是你必须找一些 LASIK surgeon， 他 specialize in enhancements。所以我的建议，你也听这个 Zoom， 明天这个 Zoom 听好以后，啊、呃，你给我们送一个 email， 必须 email， 必须英文啊，然后 detailed exactly when did you have the down LASIK， what's the problem now？ 如果你有 latest eye exam 更好 attach， 然后我们梯队全是美国人，所以必须英文，必须 email 啊，然后我们做 consultation， 然后告诉你 what do we recommend to do， 然后我们可以帮助你 local doctor 能找一个，找不到那你就飞到 national。今天飞了，明天就可以走。Okay, next one. Um, for vision surgery, do you do both eyes at the same time, or do one eye first until it recovers fully, then do the second eye? Yeah, 这个取决手术啊，在这个这个四个手术里面，只有白内障我们是分开的。我其他三个手术 ，smile, implantable contact lens. 老花手术，两个眼睛在同一天做 ，OK。Cataract 呢，他年纪比较大一点，所以愈合呢不那么好，所以我们都分开做。比如说，我们有百分之十五左右的病人是 from out of state， 很多是 out of country， 所以他们都将一飞进来，两个眼做掉就飞走的。所以四个手术里面，三个比较年轻的这三个 ，smile、implantable contact lens、f o r e v e r young lens 老花手术都是两个眼睛同时一天做掉。你这病人第二天就飞走了，后头要待一两个晚上。然后白内障手术呢，我们也有很多 out of town patients。一般我们都跟他讲，你做一个眼睛回去，回去的纽约、加州，然后过几个礼拜再过来做第二眼睛
by any sound from cat. Okay, how to tell when the best time to do cataract surgery? Can an annual comprehensive eye exam determine the timing of the operation? Good question. Um, 我们一般就是英文的字叫, if ain't broke, don't fix. If ain't broke, don't fix. 如果你没有什么大的问题, you say, my eyes doing fine, Dr. Wang. With glasses, I can see. When I drive at night, I don't see halos. When car light comes towards you, I don't have caras. So that's a caras symptom if you see halos. And I don't have another caras symptom, which is when I step in the restaurant in a dim, lit in place, I don't need more light to read. 如果你去个restaurant,你发现在比较暗的地方,你需要那个手机灯光打开才能读 manual,等你自己都是白内障症状。如果你没有这些症状, don't do it. Just wait, you know, if ain't both don't fix. 但是如果你有这些症状 等的比较值，因为老弟就不那么安全嘛，所以他等的这个疾病这个care比较advanced才值得做啊。呃，就像那个breast cancer，如果这医生只会做mastectomy，把整个breast remove，那么当他只等这个lump比较大一点啊，再做，但是如果另外医生他比较advanced，小切口，他很小lump就可以拿掉，他不会等你这个lump变大了以后把整个乳房拿走，他是小的就lumpectomy。那么小切口这个equivalent的在眼睛手术呢，就是激光技术，自己激光技术。所以你要问的，你要问百分之九十五不用啊，在美国。如果他说我不用，那你知道他是个old style，他也许会等到你的，就像乳房那个lump so basically, the doctor is different, technology is different, the human skills are different. So you have to look for that specialist if you want to get the best result. medical record, latest eye exam in cash, email, consultation and will tell you exactly what we recommend and also we can help you find local doctors who specialize in this laser care surgery which is safer and more accurate can be applied earlier in life. Okay. Next one. I'm not available tomorrow night. Can I can I can I watch the recording afterwards? Uh, 可以的，我我想我提的应该是record，但是我们这是every Tuesday, I'm doing this. 所以你这个week miss，我是建议是呃还是不要看recording。为什么呢？我刚讲过，今天我讲是医学，是medical。这个Zoom是帮助你解决所有问题 cannot interact with us 所以明天没事你就下一个 每东时间Eastern Time 你这样想，如果我手上拿一个box，这个elbow band弯起来，我那个band架在hold how long？Maybe a minute or two. 
如果我这个手这样弯的这样子，这个拿了一个这个箱子，但我可以坚持五你五分钟我都坚持不到。OK， that's what we're doing to the eye muscle when we read for a long time or look at the cell phone. 它那个 muscle eye muscle is fixed and fixed distance in front of it. 所以你说哦，但是这个 make sense 会有损害的。你说我也是 wait a minute。你意思说，我如果损，就是我不去注意，我损害我的眼睛就会 aging faster 吗 ？Yes, yes. 你就你像那个车，一般人这车一一年开一万个 mile， 那你就是可以 last for ten years。但如果你 abuse， 你看你车一买了，你第一年就开十万个 mile， 那么他的这个年龄就等价于另外一个人开十年的车。It's how you use it. You abuse it, you're gonna age faster. 所以，怎么样 avoid abuse 呢？就阅读和看这个啊、呃、，cell phone 呢，就是要 follow 这个叫 twenty 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 rule。好，写下来啊 ，twenty minutes of near work， 不管是手机还是计算机，就你这个手腕已经这个拿个箱子搞到二十分钟了 ，you have to stop for twenty seconds。然后把你视线从你的计算仪到边上看窗口遥远的地方，至少 twenty feet away， 这样这个 muscle 可以 relax， 然后再聚焦，然后再 tense up， look at the things up close， resume your work on the computer。所以 twenty 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 rule， twenty minutes of new work， take a break for at least twenty seconds， and look at an object at least twenty feet away。Next question。Are your surgeries robot robot assisted? Miss Timber assisted. 没听懂这个问题。啊、uh, ，用用那呃，就叫做机器人去去 robot。哦、oh, oh, ，robot robot robot yeah、uh,。Robot assisted yeah yeah, yeah.。呃、uh, ，我们我们没有 robot， 但是我们的 automation 是美国最高的。我们激光的使用，我刚刚讲过。所以呢，我整个手术就是。就是 highly digital 啊，比如说，因为我有激光这个技术 background， 大部分医生没有的，他们只读 MD 而已，没有个 PhD l a s e r 所以我我不按照那个厂家，你你你有问题，你可以说，你说我我我医生很有问题啊。那么所有医生他没有 PhD l a s e r 他怎么用激光啊？是这样子的，他厂家给你一些 preset preset， 比如说你到那个 Macy 去买那个衬衣啊，它有 small medium large。他没有 customize to you， 只是说你自己试一下啊，这个 medium 这衬衫跟我最近 ，not perfect but closest。This is what most doctors do。他们不会去调那个激光的，他们也不知道怎么调，他们就用厂家给的 preset 那个呃 size， 把你的眼睛在里面 fit， 看靠哪一个 size 比较最近啊。That's that's what that's how the doctor can use the laser technology without really understanding it。啊、uh, ，因为他们有这机会嘛，学习嘛，他们的 focus 都是 medical research, medical study 啊，在 medical school MD。In my case 呢，因为我有这个 in-depth study for laser， 所以我从来不用那个 manufacture preset， 我从来不用的。我每个病人来，我都量他的身体，量他的眼睛，然后呢，制定给他，因为我可以调激光，我自己知道怎么调，所以呢，我就给他 customize to 他。所以我做了五万五千例手术了啊，激光眼科手术，包括四千多医生。我到这过去这三十年啊，我到今天我还从来没有重复过。I never have repeated yet the same treatment plan， 因为所有的病人都不一样的，都有 some difference。所以我就是量体裁已经做了五万五千的衣服了。所以呢，这是很重要一个问题，就是说，呃 ，automation technology use has to be the most。我完全相信 technology， 我相信。Christ wants science and technology and the faith to work together. Okay, 一定要用最好的技术 That's why 美国白内障手术用激光的百分比只有百分之五，百分之九十五还在用刀。今天在美国，但是在我们中心，白内障百分之一百都用激光。We're number one leading the nation in the percentage of laser use for cataract surgery. 因为我 believe， 我相信你要做眼睛手术，要么不做。要做就要用最好的技术，因为 it's talk about your eyesight for the rest of your life. It's irreversible. OK， 听听听听明天这个 seminar。如果你想做白内障手术，完了以后
Again, 给我们送 email in email in English. 那把你所有东西，你眼睛情况解释越清 ，detail 越好。然后有个 old record attach， 那我的梯队会给做一个 consultation。我们每个礼拜都 meet 来在网上做很多 free consultation。然后我们给你一个 opinion， what we recommend you to do。如果是一般的手术不困难，我们就 local 给你 recommend。如果比较 specialized 的，你可能得。就像刚才那个病人，一个眼睛白内障，一个眼睛没有了，那个没有的还有很高近视，这个是 asymmetric 不对称，这个是 special。这样的病人一般都要到 national 来做，因为我们是 specializing unusual difficult cataract surgeries。Next question: Can lazy can lazy eye be corrected by surgery? What's lazy eye?、Oh, lazy, yeah. Lazy eye 呢是现在是这样子，它不能完全被 correct by surgery， 但 partially。你是什么意思啊？一个 lazy eye， 他的病人，比如说他的呃 vision 只有零点一啊，比如说 ten percent 啊，如果一点零是 hundred percent， 你不要 give up， 什么意思啊？我用激光可以给他调到，比如说 improve 到零点五，就 fifty percent improvement， 但是我达不到一点零，所以我做这个激光手术给很多 lazy eye， 就 amblyopia patient 都做了，全世界各地来的这个 lazy eye 的手术比较难一点做啊。但是我跟他们讲清楚，我说哦，你现在零点一，他就问我，那你可以 improve 多少？我说我可以把停，就 partial improvement 啊，可以到零点五。他说你能不能做呃一点零啊？我说 no， that's not possible。如果你要做一点零，那你就不要做。所以我跟每个病人讲清楚 expectation。所以 the answer to the question lazy eye， it's not that you cannot have laser， but you have to know what you are getting。It's always a partial improvement。但你说我 lazy 啊，干嘛做这个 partial p r o v e m e n t 零点一到零点，我干嘛值得做？很值得做哦。为什么？如果你左眼是 lazy lazy 啊啊，就零点一，右眼是好的眼睛，你这个右眼的负担太大。Have to look at this side, half the world have to look at the other side. Overworked, burden on one eye, the good eye, the right eye. In this case, is too much. 你知道 burden 多的汽车，它不就早就 aging 吗？早就是 wear and tear 吗？不是跟你讲吗？如果你这个开车，你每年开一万，你可以开十年；你每年开，呃呃，十万，你就是开一年。你这个好的眼睛在被 heavily burdened， 呃，有点 overused。所以你在弱的眼睛左眼，哪怕零点一提到零点五，还是值得的，因为它可以减少好的眼睛的 burden。OK， 好，提到这儿，你说 Wait a minute, Dr. Wang, I have a question。我的小孩有雷西尔已经很多年。我们看了有不少眼科医生，但你今天讲的东西是很有意思，有些新的内容，我怎么没听说过？这个 burden to the eye， the eye， 这个能够 partial improvement。王医生，你就很聪明吗？其他眼科医生不知道吗 ？That's a fair question 啊。我的答案是这样子，不是这其他医生不知道，我看病人看，我都是换位思考。我都是把你的问题好好想一想，从你的角度或者你小孩的角度去看，我不 rush， 你 rush 的话总会 miss something 啊，所以我会给你今天有更多 information， 包括 lazy 啊，你以前好像没听说这样的，像 the the other eye 的 burden 啊，这个眼睛可以 partial improvement， 就是因为 insurance company 叫医生要看更多的病人，每天才可以 make ends meet， 所以呢，医生没有时间，他他讲 language of the doctor。讲了一些 medical jargon， 讲完就就走了，然后你一直你就找不到这医生了，你找不到这医生了，你要问就只能找到护士，因为他得做手术要赚钱，要 sustain the whole clinic。我每个病人都有我 personal email， OK， 做好手术，我做的任何手术，每个病人都有我 personal cell phone， 因为 I'm responsible for your visual happiness if I done your surgery。所以呢，嗯。怎么讲？就说 because I spend more time, so I give you more information than what you typically get. Not because these doctors are not smart; they're good. But if you rush, you're gonna miss things, right? And everybody, including me. Next question: For out of town patients, do you have them come back for follow ups, or would they do follow up near their home? Oh, very good question. 我们有百分之十五的病人是 out of state, out of country。他们一般来说呢，就是像 smile 啊、LASIK 啊，还有那个 implantable contact 等。一般他们第二天看看，他们
，大部分都不需要回来，我们就 local 把它们 arrange。但是如果中间老花手术和白内障手术，这个是眼内手术，左边两个是眼外手术。发育阳人是 Kara 是眼内手术 ，inside of the eye， 一般他们都得回来至少一次啊。比如说我有很多 Boston 的 patient， 他们就差不多三个月来一次看一下。但是我们肯定 local 帮他们找一个呃 follow up 的，因为 just in case something happen， 对吧？没问题。OK， 你看，嗯 ，Can your surgery restore the vision of legally blind person？ 啊 ，Good question。Legally blind。啊，对。那个 Matt 再把那个我那个 signature block 再放到 chat room 下啊，再放一次啊，已经放了，放了，好的，对的，你就是 periodically 放，因为他那个 chat room 把那 push out， 所以他们看不到。好 ，legally blind 呢，就是说，比如说一个人戴眼镜啊，戴眼镜他戴了眼镜，只能矫正到 0.2 那不矫正呢，比如说他嗯不不不戴眼镜是 0.1 啊，那么矫正比如说可以到 0.3。我激光能不能用？可以，但是只能提到 0.3 也就很多病人视力啊 ，legally blind 或者 borderline 那比较差眼镜，我可以提供 partially， 但是我 never be twenty twenty 啊。那么有的病人说零点三不行，不够好，那我就不做，因为你 you have to know what you're getting。OK， I have to deliver what I expect， I what I promise， I don't over promise， I always under promise。Over deliver 啊，所以如果很多病人，但是呢，我也做过一些 legal blind patient， 因为他 0.1， 他提到 0.2、0.3 就 big improvement， OK 是可以考虑的，但是他的 expectation 非常 clearly set 啊，这样的手术不是一般的手术，这样都是 very difficult 手术，就是外国啊外州来的病人。Next question， is the laser cataract surgery 100% successful？ Very good question。它 successful 比那个 Cara surgery 就是 Blade 高 ，Blade 今天在美国它的 success rate for Blade Cara surgery is about ninety nine percent, ninety eight, ninety nine percent, depend on study you read. Laser 呢比它更高一点，把它那个比如说 one percent 又削了至少一半或者七百分之七十五，那就变成零点二五，就 instead of one percent, okay, 零点二五个 percent. 所以呢，任何手术。如果你认为 I want to have surgery, I want to have hundred percent successful surgery. 我的答案很简单，老兄啊，或者老老姐妹啊 ，Do not do any surgery unless you can help. I cannot help you. 因为你对 life、uh, expectation 不 realistic. 你人人 do anything， 吃个东西，搞个旅行，坐个飞机，有 hundred percent 吗？没有。如果你 desire eye surgery to be hundred percent, that means you're not realistic. You ask too much for life. I rather you not to do surgery, because my goal, more than doing a surgery for you, is to make you happy. Your happiness is not how much you have in life. Your happiness is not how much you want. Your happiness is the distance between how much you have and how much you want. The smaller the distance, the happier you are. 有关这个东西，我跟大家讲，我那个做这个啊、um, 事半功倍的其中一条，七十七个点一条，这个礼拜四啊就讲到这一点。就如果你想这个了解更多的七十七点怎么样事半功倍做事情比较 efficient， 这个欢迎大家来听。美中时间七点半，美东时间八点半，这个礼拜四，这是我们第一个这个事半功倍的。特别对年轻人、小孩、children、grandchildren 会很有 helpful， 帮助他们学习、成绩提高。Next, next question. Do you personally do all the surgeries? I used to, not anymore. 我有一个梯队啊，我们有三个 surgeon. OK， 啊、呃，这两个 surgeon 是我亲自亲手培养的。In the past， 他们现在在很多情况下已经超过我了。OK， 所以他们做。主要是他们做的手术，我呢主要是参与 consultation。OK， 呃，我是 part of the team all the time， 所以呢，我们每个礼拜都讨论这些病例的。跟我们有五个 doctors， 其中三个包括我是 surgeons。所以，啊、um, ，we work as a team。I still be part of consultation。OK， the surgical plan determination。但是大部分手术，我是两个。年轻的，但他们的手术技术现在已经超过我了，所以他们做
，大部分。如果你要叫我做 ，You want the old man to do the surgery? Fine, I'll be happy to. Okay, next. Seventy-seven years female. I have cataract surgery performed eight years ago. Now I'm far-sighted, plus three hundred on both eyes. What other options I have if I don't want to wear reading glasses to read? My eye doctor suggested me to wear contact lenses, but I don't want to wear contact lenses. Yeah, very good question. You get special form of laser. Very special form of laser is post cataract surgery LASIK. This is 存在的。在这个 LASIK patient， 他们年龄不是什么十八岁、二十一岁，都是差不多七十五到八十五。白内障手术做完了，剩下屈光对象你正的三百度远视，这个 very debilitating。但是你说 ，Wait a minute, Doctor Wang， 这个可以做，为什么我的医生叫我去戴 contact 啊什么的？为什么？是因为只有百分之一不到的医生会做。就在做完白内障以后再做类似，这是比较难的类似。你说为什么难？就是一个手术，一个眼睛啊，手术做了越多，那个在那个 organ 啊，这个手术最难，就 knee replacement。第一个手术最容易做 ，knee replacement 在同一个膝盖再做这个 knee replacement，second surgery 比较难啊。所以这样的病人一般我们都是从外州飞进来的，因为当地我们找不到，因为 less than one percent can do post cataract surgery 类似。所以呢，怎么办呢？如果呃，你这是三三百度的远视，这个非常 debilitating， very uncomfortable。I will not like it either. Don't wear contacts. Do do not wear contacts. 为什么？你在这个年龄七十五，对你眼睛很干呐、啊，不是二十五岁啊。所以戴 contact 不 make sense 在这个年龄段，因为我刚讲过，年龄越大越干嘛。所以呢，怎么办呢？听个 Zoom 明天，然后给我们送个 email， 把你所有。Eye history, 全部 details. 你什么时候做白内障？你现屈光度多少？你把 latest eye exam attach. OK, email me in English. 不要用 WeChat， 不能用中文。然后我那个梯队呢，我们会把你的情况，我们每个礼拜都讨论所有的 consultation cases, free consultation. 然后告诉你我们怎么 recommend. 因为根据你的 measurement， 也许我们不 recommend 做这个 post cataract surgery laser. 但如果我们 recommend 我们可能也许帮助你，如果找不到比较难找，因为做这样的 LASIK 是 specialized LASIK， post cataract surgery LASIK， 也许你得 travel to Nashville。Next question: Is there a surgical procedure to correct strabismus? Yes. 什么叫 strabismus 呢？是就说那个眼睛的 alignment 啊不好。这个手术是可以治疗的，但是我不做。这不是我的 specialty 啊，呃，我只做刚才讲的这四个手术，所以呢，你可以听一下 Zoom tomorrow， 听了以后，你要 follow 不是 email， 把整个斜视 strabismus 的 history 写的越清楚越好，不管是你还是你的家人，里面很重要哦，所有这 email， 弟兄们、姐妹们一定要写你的 address 啊，因为我帮你 local 找医生，我得知道你 where do you live。然后我们会肯定找，因为你绝对不要来来学，因为我不做这手术，我会帮你找当地你最好的 strabismus surgeon， 跟你这个 condition 你的 measurement 对口的。It's all about finding the right subspecialist. 这年头 ，Next question. Can can cataract surgery cure dry eyes problem or just improve dry eyes? Cataract surgery has nothing to do with dry eyes. Cataract surgery is 把那个眼内的里面那个。呃，混浊的晶体摘除 ，OK， 把一个呃 transparent 的人工晶体装进去，你 dry 还是一模一样，不减少也不增加 ，OK。有的病人做以后 actually get it worse， 所以你比如说是七十岁 ，you have lots of dry already because 诶，我跟你讲，就是年龄越大越 dry 嘛，所以你做 cataract 它不会 improve dry 的，它也还可能会 worse 一点点，所以 dry eye care。通过我们像我们这 dry clinic care 跟 care， 所以这是两回事。我们有 different clinic care clinic 专门做 care 手术，我们 dry clinic 专门治疗呃 dry patient。Guess what？ 因为我们 dry clinic 全部都是年纪大的，因为年纪大才干嘛，对吧？所以 totally different conditions。It it、uh, care surgery does not help. Generally, don't worsen dry either. May worsen a little bit due to surgery, but definitely does not help dry. Next question. Um, no more. Okay. 好的。呃，非常感谢啊。
这个啊、嗯，大家呃，药药物呃，弟兄出来一下吧。呃，谢谢花那么多时间 ，Dr. Max Lee 做那么多的这个 explanation。I'm hoping it will be helpful to you all。如果有任何问题呢，你们拍一张照，拍一张照，这个呢啊、嗯，下面是我的所有 contact information。你可以 email me。Medical question 一定要 email， 一定要 English。OK。然后 WeChat， 我右上角 WeChat 是专门为你 personal use。If you want to find out about more movie， 啊，你可以的，啊，这是可以的。明天晚上呢，我们有这个 Zoom， 啊，每个礼拜二，每中时间六点四十五，但每冬呢是七点四十五。你可以拍张照，你可以下来。然后呢，每个礼拜二都有，你可以听。明天晚上会讲很多 cost 啊，什么 insurance 啊等等东西。然后呢，十月十八号是我的这个电影的 side movie study， 啊，十月十八一个月一次，讲这 side 里面的 Christian messages of the movie。这个电影赢了世界基督教电影最大奖 ，side won the biggest award in Christian film award。所以呢，我们做这个啊，然后呢，最后呢，大家如果感谢你的孩子啊，在读书啊，想读书比较成绩啊什么样 ，I cannot change the IQ， <笑> but I can change the habits。呃，就说我学的，我的 IQ 也不是最高，大概中上吧。但是我用这些方法方式，我的七十七个 method 来帮助我提高我的成绩。So you're welcome to go Thursday. 啊，所以这个是第一次，大家可以拍张照啊。然后最后呢，就这个电影十月二十七号，欢迎大家啊。Do one thing, bring our kids, our family members, and bring our American friends to see the movie. Then we can do something. To 改变我们的命运，美国华人命运，提高我们华人在美国社会地位，使得我们能够 enjoy the same legal protection as all other American citizens. Because 不管做到说到，我们还要在这个不管是说到做到，而且还要在在西方公开社会，你不说人家就不知道。所以不管说到做到，还得做到，还要再说到。It's about time for Chinese Americans to stand,、mm. speak up, and tell our stories. Dr. Wan, can, can I ask you a question? I somehow my question got disappeared. Yes, when you say common ground, okay. My question is, how do you find the common ground between the people believe the Christian and the people without the religious, or between the people with the Christian? And a different religious, as like Islamics, how yeah. do you find a common ground? I've been studying this for many years. That's why we have built this uh, foundation, uh, common ground、uh, foundation, because it's it's like anything. It's like physics. It's like math. It's a human knowledge. You have to study to figure out how to do, how to help ourselves. Right? Human society is so fragmented. We human nature is for power and control. Human nature is for power and control. That's why we don't find common ground. 中美台湾就很难找到 common ground because every country is looking for power and control. 所以呢，我一直知道这个 fundamental problem of human society. 所以呢，我的建议呢，就说第一点，人性 human nature 是找不到 common ground. 因为 human nature 就是为了 power control. Okay, more polarized, more power to the controller. 所以呢，怎么办呢？我的意思呢？今天讲的就是 common ground can be only found through Christ. Common ground can only be found through Christ. 必须 we had to hit higher calling. Okay. 那么 Christ 到底叫我们干干什么呢？整个 Bible 就说 common ground seeking steps. S T E P S. Bible 说两个事情 Bible says blessed are the peacemakers. 啊，第一个，我们作为 Christian， 我们要 should be the best common ground seekers. 而今天在美国社会 ，some of the Christians are some of the worst polarizers. 这完全不对，这完全是反这个耶稣基督的 teaching。OK， 一些有一些 Christian 是叫了最响，对人最恨，对家人最恨，这个是 totally wrong。你像那个 Jesus， 你看他一生他在那个来这个 Earth 这么几十年，他待的他就跟那些生活最底层人在一起，他不跟那些 religious power leader 在一起，他总是说，所以呢，怎么去放在 common ground？ 你的问题挺好，就是 S T E P S， 这是我们 established。The method, 也就是说，这 common ground 这个 Bible study， 我每个月讲一次。这次最新呢，就是这个这个呃，这个十月十八号，我刚刚讲啊，每个月讲一次啊
，就是专门讲这个五点的 detail。很快 summarize 下，第一个你要 see， 你说，呃，就是如果你 husband wife 你总有 difference， 如果你不想去找那个 common ground 的话 ，you never find it， you only find what you're looking for。所以呢，哈斯曼说：“我就跟太太没有 common ground， 你不去找，你永远找不到。所以这个 attitude 前，你必须要 believe it's there， you have to be willing to look for it。OK， 整天盯着半瓶子空，永远不是就是办法。你得有时候看看那半瓶子满。好，第一下 C， 必须要 C， willing to see。第二个 trade places T， 就像我刚刚讲，我做眼科医生的最好办法，我必须通过你的眼睛来这个这个这个呃这个来看世界。” You're the only person on this planet who sees through that pair of、uh, eyes of yours. So if you want to say solve your eye problem, I have to see. Third, empathy. You know, we, as Christians, meet with unbelievers, or people who don't have faith, or you're a Republican, meet with a Democrat, or you're a Democrat, meet with a Republican. Whatever. Some of the difference. What What do we tend to do today in America? We tend to judge people. 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 Applying the salt principle, S A L T. 什么呢 Start the conversation. S. Ask a question. A. Listen. L. And then and only then talk. P. Perseverance. Pay the price. There's right thing to do. There's a price to pay. 你会很多人被你 misunderstanding 的。最后，不是只是说，要做，要 seek actually do it. Seek the come. Don't talk the talk. Have to walk the walk. 你知道 who Inspired us, my pastor and I, to formulate this common ground seeking steps (STPS) is none other than Jesus Christ Himself. You think Christ's life is the perfect embodiment of this methodology, common ground seeking steps (STPS)? S, He saw the common ground with us as human beings. T, He traded places with us by becoming one of us. E empathy. He demonstrated empathy even to the people in the lower rung of society, like a woman by the well in the Bible. Nobody wants to talk to her. Christ did. T perseverance paid the price. He paid the ultimate price by dying for our sin at the cross. Finally, S C come out. He put into action. We often say, "We don't care about immigrants." I love America. I love this country. You say, "Love America is just to sing the song and it's enough." No. Loving this country, loving Christ, loving America, has to be backed by a substance, by an action. What is the action proving that we truly love this country, truly love Christ? It's not we just say it in a church. You have to do it Monday through Friday. It's a means the action that can prove we truly love this country, we truly believe we can work together. Is our willingness to see common ground? Are we willing to work across political aisles, racial divides, and ethnic division? If we're willing to change ourselves, each of us, to be a common ground seeker rather than a polarizer, that proves through our action we do love America. We do do love Christ. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yao Wu, today, today, ah, you spend a lot of time. I comment a little bit. Yao Wu is a very responsible person. He gave me a lot of emails, so making sure I'll be on time and all that. Max, very grateful for your time. You are you are you are exceptional. Thank you. 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 Thank You know, you connect me to Yao. You know, you connect me to, uh, you know, more uh, group of people than any other friends because you see common ground with people. So I should learn from you, and we all should learn from Christ. Be a common. One thing that I challenge me is, uh, uh, for example, we have people is a Buddhist. If the Buddhist or Islamic. To what extent we should convince that preach to them on the Christianity? It's a it's a great question. It's a great question. To what extent we should we we'll be keep the yeah. friendship, but、uh, yeah. we can seek a lot of common ground, but not on the belief. Yeah. A of, really, yes, a lot of belief is common. It's、yeah. just、uh, maybe certain specific is not common. 
，对啊，这个电影赛，这个电影赛啊。就是那个啊、呃，赢了 ICVM 这个 Top Prize。为什么赢这 ICVM Top Prize？ 就是因为他们认为这个电影 for the first time actually speak to the skeptics。你看这电影，你就发现他不是 all out， you know， hitting your head with a Bible。I don't you believe? Otherwise, you would be you know condemned. No， 电影 side is organic true story about a person who found God not because he was born as one， not because he was told he needs to believe。But because he found God through his struggle in life itself, 生命的末点也就是神的起点开始。所以 that's why you won the top prize because the ICVM International Christian Festival recognized this new type of Christian film that speak to the skeptics. 啊，要回答你的问题，这个很重要。It's a balance. 今天 East West 这是个 balance。你完全 East， 你从大陆来，你从台湾来到美国，英文都不学，你就 stuck in the past， 是错的。另外极端也是错的，一来呢，我不就忘掉自己的根，呃，就就就 Americanize totally， 中文都不讲，这个中国人不管，这也错的。最佳的是 there's a point in the middle， each of us has to find the balancing point that works for each of us， 对不对？每个人的 point balancing point 不一样，是一样的。Faith， 这个 what does it mean to be a Christian？ It's not， it's much more than just 呃礼拜天去那边歌剧歌就唱几个圣歌，兄弟姐妹们做一点 church 事情。No, much more than that. Being a Christian means how do you act Monday through Friday in front of people you work with who are not Christians, who don't have beliefs or different other beliefs. They think, in general, Christian and non-Christian non -Christian have no common ground. Is that true? Is it really true? I give you an experience. I have many years ago, I want to pray with my patients because I. 基督徒了，我开始就年轻时我就开始做，你知道，成为眼年轻眼科医生。我想 ，I really want to pray with my patient。但是很多朋友，基督徒朋友跟我说 ，Don't do that, man. If you pray, the the the, the non-Christian patient will not come back to you because Christians and non-Christians have no common ground. If it's up to you, you want to pray. If up to them, they don't want you to pray. 后来我说 ，Oh, that's true. 因为我也不想 lose business 嘛，对吧？后来我就问我的 church 的 pastor， 他们说。Bible teaches if the right thing to do, there's a price to pay. Hello, I said, okay, I will pray. So I, my entire career, so I do the eye doctor surgery. My patients all pray, okay, without exception. But I, I'm a scientist, so I do always do research. Ah, so I, in about over two years, I collect several hundred, survey several hundred non-Christian patients. Then the next day, surgery done. The next day, I ask him a question. I said, yesterday before surgery, I pray for you. Were you offended? They said, so, "I don't believe you're Christ." I said, "I know. That's why I ask you. Were you offended?" Because people say, "Christian, non-Christian, no common ground." If it's up to Christian, pray. If up to the non-Christian, they don't want to pray. They said, "All these people told me this." They said, "Dr. Wang, yesterday I was very nervous. I was underneath, underneath your surgical laser, and I was very nervous. And you did come to my ear very softly, saying, 'Uh, can I?'" Uh, Can I ask your permission to pray? Because I was told I'm supposed to be politically correct. I'm supposed to ask for permission. And so he's being so. Honestly, I was so nervous underneath your laser, and you were the surgeon who asked me for my permission. I did not dare to say no. Hello, I was so. Yeah, I kind of took advantage situation. Yes, but what I really want, but I took advantage for God. I like, to me, I feel okay. But what I really want to know is, were you offended? So this is what they told me, and this. Is the point of today's part to talk about common ground? They said not only I was not offended when you pray to your Christ, which I don't believe, I was even moved. I was deeply moved. I said, how could you be moved when I pray to my Christ that you don't believe? They said the reason I was moved is because in one of my most important moments, which is my eye surgery, I don't want anything to go wrong. Because it could screw up the my vision for the rest of my life. I was so nervous. You, not like lots of other doctors coming in Russia and go. You actually slow down. You came to my ear, cheek to cheek with me, hands on my shoulder, and you pray with me. You brought something that most important to you, which is your Christ. So in one of my most important moments, which is my eye surgery, you brought something the most important to you, which is your eye, your Christ. And I appreciate that. At that moment, I realized 
that it is the love for fellow human being that transcends the boundary of faith and religion. It's the love for fellow human being that is our ultimate common ground. 也就是说, that's one approach. We common ground seeking methodology, the steps. To practice the five practice the five see the common ground. You never find the common ground. You never the common ground. You never find the common ground. You never the common ground. You never find the common ground. You never find the common ground. You the common ground. You never find the common ground. You have to see the common ground. 我碰到一个朋友他是个lifestyle跟我完全不一样他这个耳朵也是ring啊舌头上也是ring啊这个lips也是ring啊这个lifestyle我是 因为我学了这个methodology，我说，I heard that you like play ping pong。他说，Oh yeah。我说，Me too。Do you want to go to the table tennis club this coming Saturday？That's an example of common ground. Common ground is something that both that person and I naturally already share. Then you say that's a very small common ground. No. However small the common ground. It could have a large transformation effect. It gives us the ability to relate, to connect another human being. How to see the common ground? You be see, you you can see that that lifestyle, I don't want to see. I can't find it. trade places. Like I was saying, I have to speak his language. He loves to ping pong, so I have to. The second empathy. We meet with different people. Don't be yelling and shouting. Christ. Is the ultimate example. He saw the common ground with us. He traded places by becoming one of us. One of us. He demonstrated empathy towards people in the lowest rung of society. The woman by the well story. He paid the pro, uh, ultimate price by dying for a sin. Finally, he saw the common ground. He actually did it. So, what he said is, we have to speak the language listener. We have to find something we naturally always share with that person. Be it by hobby, be it be whatever it is, and be patient. Just do what Christ did. Just do what Christ did. That's ultimately what being a Christian means. 但是今天这世界,我看到很多Christian, some of them are some of the worst polarizers. Worst polarizers. They make, they judge others. They make, they, they, they meet a non-Christian, just, ah, 你不行, 你是你, let me tell you how you should live. You already assume you're better. Jesus did not do that. He he squat down and washed other people's feet. So this is power and control, self-proclaimed superiority. This is the You know, for sense of insecurity. This is this is why the world is Human future, humankind will not have future if we keep on spiralizing, spiral polarizing based on human nature for power and control. The only way to sell, save humankind is by healing a higher calling. Do what Christ did. Bring the country back, bring people back. Travel the road less traveled. Most of people keep on traveling in the polarizing direction. But Christian, we have unique power, which is the Bible. It's about time for Christian to make a difference. Just like Steve Jobs said, so think differently, Apple. I today said to Christians, let's act differently. Set the best example, some of the powerful, best common ground seekers, as Christ did as an example for us. Yeah, how do you think of Steve Jobs? I think he's a, he's a Buddhist, right? A, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about his religion. Not at all. I'm talking about his way of thinking for the new product. He said, Apple iPhone is not just a phone. It's think differently. 
。OK， 我没讲他的 religious， 呃，这个这个，我只讲他把他怎么样 describe the technology， 他说 think differently， 所以我就 follow 那个 methodology。我说 at the end of the day， 我讲的今天 common ground seeking for Christians 就是 act differently。OK, rest of the world is acting in a polarizing way. You 看看嘛，你去那个 religious conference， 你去看嘛，你听那个 sermon， 你去听嘛，都是 put down non-believers. Are you ever get close to a human being when you start by putting down that person? <laughs> you know, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks so much. It's a、uh, really meaningful. Yeah. 谢谢谢谢。Yeah. 希望大家那个十月二十七号去啊、um, 看这个电影，就是、说啊， uh, 我我认为就是这个是华人很少的一个立竿见影的机会啊。Do something. We just see the film. Bring our kids who are leaving Christ. University students are leaving Christ in a rapid rate. One hundred kids entering college, going to churches. By the time they finish college, four years later. Seventy-five have left church. Seventy-five percent. Our Christian future is in trouble right now.、We're、not connecting. We're not finding common ground with students. They're studying science and technology. They don't need. They feel they don't need the Christ. 我跟我的这个 Pastor Rice， 我们每个月都有在全美各地，他跑的更多。我呢，跟他跑就是讲这个 Gospel of Death， 这个他们我们都到学校去讲，跟学生找 common ground。OK， 我们用他们的喜欢的思维方式，也就是 scientific reasoning， 来帮他们意识到主的这个这个爱。所以这个叫 speak in the land language， be in that place。我们不不叫他们来，我们叫他，我们到学校去。所以我们所有的 gospel not that talk 已经做了几百个，都是在大学 campus。OK， be at where your friend is。That's how you can find the common ground。所以明天晚上欢迎大家来听这个。啊，讲座讲这 logistic cost insurance 等等，今天晚上讲的技术，每个礼拜都有。呃，每期时间是七点四十五晚上。然后呢，十月十八号我每个月做一次这个电影的 side， 把我一个电影叫 side， 就就把 scene beyond， scene beyond our pain， circumstance ourselves， our own culture， and scene beyond our polarization。所以这个是我每一个，我就在讲说，我把 Bible study 都拉出来， substantiate 我这些 point of view。这电影的这个 message， 把 the Bible story 做这个 message， Christ message 作为这个 foundation。然后呢，最后呢，这个是一个 practical 的，给年轻人的，要提高成绩，要读书好一点。啊、uh, ， is is more than just work harder， but also about working smarter， 事半功倍。这个是一个有一个一个一个 system 的。我总结了七十七条，并不是说我做了很好，只是说我还在学习。但是七十七条给所有年轻人有一个 starting point。他们可以 build upon it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. 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 I, I, I'm, I'm very blessed. I, 在美国，当时五五十块美金很穷，真是我想今天有这个机会能做一些事情。啊、uh, ，It's because of Christ, because God loves me, and、uh, which inspire me to love Him back and love other people. I would, I would tell people whatever I know, whatever I've learned.、Um, doesn't mean that I know everything. Just means I'm still walking the journey, following Christ. This is what I've learned: the five things to share, to remember, to progress, to find, and to help. Wonderful. Yeah, someday we like to invite to our church, maybe to maybe have a Zoom session or even come to Boston. Yeah, yeah sure. I um uh on. 我的每个 weekend 就 travel 一个地方。我刚从西雅图回来。如果刚才讲的啊，在线上 ，anybody who want me to bring the film to you, just email me. And uh, uh, Matt 刚才已经把那个我的 email address 放在网上，在这 chat room。所以呢，这是 physical。这个 Boston 已经安排好了。那个 Matt 安排十一、十二月一号礼拜五到十二月三号礼拜天，我在 Boston 要做五场，礼拜五做一场，礼拜六做两场。啊、uh, ，Matt， 你时间记一下啊。这是我的 recommendation， 麦导是礼拜六晚礼拜晚上五点半，这是个 suggestion 啊。礼拜六呢
，十一点和五点半 ，OK， 就中间至少要有六个小时。That's rule of thumb， 中间至少要六个小时。礼拜天呢是十二点半和六点半，因为到 Sunday service finish 以后，十二点半和六点半，这是个 default placeholder， 你可以 adjust a little bit。但最关键就礼拜六、礼拜天中间这两场中间至少六个小时，争取啊。如果偶尔五点五个半小时可以的，否则当然没办法。如果这我想比较好，这样我来了，呃呃，要我就是请所有波士顿的华人去，大家都来看这电影嘛，因为这看电影后我都做一个。基督见证的每一场我都做过基督见，就今天讲这些内容，但是比较 concrete， 比较 packed together in about twenty five minutes， 所以大家可以啊、呃、来听听，然后建立一些机会。以后等到 Boston weekend 以后，我还可以再回来，而且特别全美国各地，我们在 looking for host， 所以大家有知道任何地方，就像 Matt Matt 他是 volunteer， 他是 volunteer 做这 lead host， 所以在 Boston 大家可以帮先帮助 Matt， 主要最难的就是拉人。我们每一场都要 pack， 这个才有效果，因为我们要收集这些数据，要多少人来，要告诉 Hollywood， 否则 Hollywood 现在可能会往后推。他们认为，呃，华人成不了气候的，因为历史上华人从来不支持不支持自己电影的，所以他们可能这个电影要往后推，不会不一定会有历史六二七号。如果一往后推，他可能就 bury， 就永远看不到。所以，这就为什么我来美国四十年，看到华人电影，讲我们自己生活的电影啊，除了。古装戏和这个功夫以外，几乎是零，几乎是零。在美国主流界，我们小孩在美国长大，在电影荧幕上主角和 mainstream 看不到跟他自己和他爸妈长得类似的人，这很不好。这个潜移默化的一个信心问题。But we can change it. We can change it. In this case, go to see this film, make size successful. It's not my film, by the way. I don't own the film. That it's a studio film. I just happen to be 这个原型而已。我我 participate 就是改编那个故事的改编。整个拍不是我拍的，也我不 own， 我也不 own 这个 film。但是呢，我意思就是，我们大家去看这电影的话 ，do one thing， 立竿见影。We can change our destiny. We can have build an opportunity to stand up, speak up, and tell our stories. 否则赛如果失败的话，那也许下一个讲华人真正的 authentic story in America 还要再等四十一年。That's true. Yeah. Upcoming weekend and then one after that are the the focus for that particular Tuesday, seven thirty future host meeting as such. Oh, oh. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay. Ah, thank you. 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 Thank you.